You know what? I can't see how this situation could get any more cringeworthy. Oh, I can. Moon landing. What's that? Pam, 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 pam. Yep, good answer, but pass. Leave me alone! <laughs> Come on, man, that was nothing. We have to cringe so hard that firemen will have to use a hydraulic jack to unclench our high knees. Dude, please let me go. You're insane. Wait, that's it. Insane, handsome, talented. No, I didn't say handsome and talented. Talent show. Let's audition for a talent show. Welcome to Elmore's Got Talent. Watch as the anglerfish of fame lures small fry into its jaws using the blinding power of starlight. Laugh at their crushed dreams. Applaud as we create the idols of today so you can burn them tomorrow. And now for the worst audition of the week. You boys are very lucky to be alive. You have experienced a cringe level of 100,000 DJ. That's the equivalent of hearing 100,000 dad jokes all at once. I highly recommend stopping whatever it is you're doing before you end up with the clenching muscles of a 40-year-old clam. Thank you, Doctor, but we've done enough. I think we cured it, man. <sighs> I guess we're gonna have to take things to the next level. Good evening, honey. When I said take things to the next level, I didn't mean with my mom. <sighs> Look, kiddo, I know it's hard for you. It's a big adjustment. Please, please don't. I'm not here to replace your father, but know that if you want to, you can call me dad. You're a teenager, and you need a male role model in your life. You are you are becoming a man, and I know you have questions. So let me give you the talk. Now, when a man truly loves a woman... Wow, that's a good one! I can already feel it echoing through time! Hey, Gumball, this is your brain. Enjoying the most beautiful day of your life? Well, do you remember when... <laughs> Say hello to Daddy. Hey, Gumball, feeling happy? Well, do you remember when... <laughs> hey, Gumball, enjoying your eternal rest? Well, do you remember when... <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this? Yeah, yeah, I know, not my best look. No need to rub it in. Yeah, I'm not talking about the fact you look like the mushroom cloud from a girl-repellent atom bomb. <sighs> look here in the corner. <laughs> you look like the reason top hats were invented. No, dude, I meant we must have known each other when we were little kids. We've got history, do you understand? Right. I guess we have shared emotions that run deeper than we thought. I am afraid there is no avoiding the inevitable. Remind me again exactly why we're at school on a Saturday. Are you kidding me? It's club day. It's the only day of the week when I get to hang out with people I really like. What? Uh, gotta go. Okay, see you all back here at five. But wait, I don't have a club to go to. Well, Mom, looks like it's your lucky day. I'm coming with you to your anger management club. Oh, that's sweet, Gumball. But behind this door, I'm a very different person. Trust me, you don't want to see this. Hello, Nicole. Welcome back. <laughs> Could you guys keep it down a little? You keep it down! Hey, Anais, what club are you in? Physics club. Well, today's your lucky day because I'm Let me stop you right there. You know there are different types of intelligence? Yeah. I don't think you have any of them. I don't get it. Exactly. Oh, come on! Oh, let me in! Oh, don't be a club hog! Oh, fine. Dad, can I join your fantasy club? Ooh, be there! It's me, Gumball. Be your work? 
No. Be you dwarf? No, I'm your son. Be you better or save our snacks for the elders? What? No. Then be gone! <sighs> What's up? Man, there's gotta be a club for me somewhere. You could always join my club. What is it? Synchronized swimming! <laughs> You're good, but I can do better. Here comes the swan dive of eternal beauty! <laughs> so, how graceful was that? Dude, you can't swim. <coughs> Fair point. Uh has anyone seen my trunks? Yeah! Touchdown! A roar! Slam dunk! Yeah! Uh, hey guys, is this the football club? Yeah! Well, uh, did I miss the game? No, it's going on right out there. Why aren't you playing? Because we're, we're the, the reserve team. team! Cool. So, can I join? I don't know. Are you man enough? <laughs> Me? I'm at least 50% man. Well, in that case, here's your towel. Thanks. So, do you guys ever get to play? Nah, we just hang out here and act kind of sporty. You guys just take showers, hang around in towels, and high-five each other? <laughs> There's a little bit more to it than that. anything to do with me, my talent, my intelligence, or my general awesomeness. You know what? Too bad for you jealous people, because I'm starting my own club and you are not invited. Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to Gumball's Club of Gumball. First order of business, attendance. Hmm, pretty good. Now, it seems like recently we've been let down by certain family members. So I propose a little exercise in trust. Okay, don't worry, Gumball. Just close your eyes, let yourself fall back, and someone will catch you. Oh, I'm a bit scared, Gumball. <laughs> well, that's why it's called a trust exercise. Come on, dude. Mm, okay. <gasps> we need to cover as much of the neighborhood as we can. But we can't ask for help. And we obviously can't be everywhere at the same time. All right, dudes, this is our target. If you see him, just pin him down. Okay, ready, steady, go! <laughs> what have you done with your Antons? Did you lose them all again? No, well, there was a bit of an accident. I told them to split up to cover more ground. So? I think they might have taken it too literally. It was pasty side. Don't beat yourself up. These guys are so sweet and obedient that if I told them go jump in a lake, they wouldn't even think twice before they... Uh, stop! The machine's aborted! We're going back home! Aww. Ugh, we're gonna need a place to hide them when we go to school tomorrow. Scout tomorrow! Hello. Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. Gotcha! You're coming with me, Ant, too. Ant who? Aha! I told you he was the clone. What clone? Uh... <laughs> They're trapped! They're being held captive! They're close. Don't worry, you're safe now. Until it's time to make a sandwich. My name is Antoine! I was the first! Kneel before me! Actually, uh, you know what? I don't think I care anymore. See you later, guys! Ah! Anton! What? Uh, uh, you're late for class! Oh, no! Ah! Thanks, guys! Huh? Since when do we have a mirror here? A mirror here! Oh, my gosh! This mirror has an echo! Echo! <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Oh, thank goodness he's as dumb as the other ones. I thought we were busted and he'd find out about the cloning. What cloning? What the? How did you hear me? Dude, just because I'm out of sight doesn't mean I'm out of earshot. You made a clone of me? How many did you make? 
Shh, not that many. How many? How many? Uh, how many? How many? Enough to have my revenge! There can only be one original, and it's me! Quick! Go with us, Anton! We'll protect you! Ah! What do we do? There's only one way to fight an army of Antons! We need a bigger army of Antons! That's a great idea! Haven't you learned anything today? That you mostly have bad ideas? Uh, yes. But more importantly, it's bad to play with life this way. Unless we get awesome scientific progress from it, I guess. And because of us, our friend is in danger! <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? Go and protect him. I'll buy you some time. But tell Anton I'm sorry. I'm sorry for betraying his friendship. And I'm... Hey! Sorry, dude, you were speaking for too long. Well, I might go down, but I won't go down alone. Totally useless in a fight. This doesn't feel fair at all. I'm gonna have to stop. No! You failed me! <laughs> no! I feel a great disturbance in the food chain, as if a thousand sandwiches cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> okay, I think we'll be safe here. What's your problem, man? Why are you so mean? Because once I get rid of him, I'll become the only Anton! Maybe then you'll be my friend, Father! Messed up! <laughs> Come back, Father! Everything will be perfect when it's just you, me, and Mother! Dude, I'm not your dad! Please don't tell. Uh, he attached $20 to the note. How cheap does he think we are? No, you can't even remember what he doesn't want us to talk about. If money isn't enough to stop you revealing I don't have a diploma... I've dug a little dirt of my own. What if this were to go public? <sighs> Look, Principal Brown. First, that was a phase. And secondly, we felt ashamed so many times in life that I think we're now incapable of feeling it. As in, chemically. The doctor says we've run out of shameosterone. Let me show you. As you can see, the brain is composed of many sections dedicated to emotion. Here's anger. Here is sadness. This here? We just don't know. And finally, this is the shame gland. As you can see, it's pretty dried out. <sighs> Dude, could you put me back together, please? Sure. How's that? I think there's something that's totally wrong. Ah, thanks. That's much better. Cumberland and Darwin Watson, please report to the principal's office. Ugh, what does he want now? Kids, I think I'm losing my mind. <sighs> Finally! Well, at least you realize it's a problem. I looked everywhere. I looked in the drawer, I looked under my desk, behind the bookshelf. Wait, what are we talking about here? My glasses! I can't find my glasses. Uh, you're wearing them? Oh, no, not these. My spare pair. I think they might be in this safe. You keep your spare glasses in a safe? I can't see them! Oh, no, 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 they're right at the back. Just keep going further in. You're gonna lock us in the safe, aren't you? Uh, would you believe a no? Look, Principal Brown, this is ridiculous. If you keep wasting your time on us instead of doing your job, this place is gonna start falling apart. Oh, sorry. <sighs> okay, you really want to do something for us? Anything. Then you'll leave us alone? Of course. Then just take care of the school. Yes, he says, of course, that's it. Take care of the school and all my problems will be solved. Thank you, Watterson. All I have to do is blow this place up. Exactly. All I could find was these. Oh, well, that would explain the sound many box. Wait, did he say blow up the school? We need to raise the alarm. Are you crazy? No one can know about this. There'd be complete panic. We just have to stop him before he blows up the school. Who's going to blow up the school? <laughs> no, no, we were just saying how the wind blows up the guy ever shaved. Help me out here. Huh? What did you do that for? You said no one could know. And he winked at me. Yeah, but I was... I, I, never mind, let's go. Rook, can I have the keys to the boiler room? I'm going to blow up the school. Uh, sure. Uh, you'd better run. All right, it's the little blue one. Sometimes it sticks, so you might need to give it a... Principal Brown's going to blow up the school? No, 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 no. Is somebody mad?
said, it's it's not what you. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you trying to knock me on? If there's no school, then there's nothing to lose. Excuse me, Principal Brown, I... Take the children outside, Coach. I'm gonna blow up the school. <laughs> Wait, blow up what? Okay, okay, enough violence. I'll take care of her. I'm sorry, Coach. What's that? I'm trying to pinch a nerve cluster, but it's buried pretty deep. Now, let me try something. Apparently, it works on cows. <laughs> I've got to blow this place up! Principal Brown is gonna blow up the school! Mr. Small, we can explain! Hold on, kids. I need to make a symbolic gesture of protest. Halt! In the name of love! Halt! Halt! Once this place is gone, my reputation will be safe. Save yourself, Lucy! Oh, oh sorry. I thought that was another drywall. Who is this Principal Brown? You are. Shh. Oh, uh, yes. We're going to call the cops and tell them we won't release you until our demands are met. Make the call, Mr. Rainbow. I thought we were going to disguise my voice. Um... <sighs> All right. <laughs> Hello, police. We have taken control of the school bus, and you better do what we say, or... There'll be consequences. Oh, sorry. Or there'll be consequences. Oh, come on, Alan. You're telling me you don't even recognize the balloon? Wait. I do recognize him. Yeah? I saw him in our house last night. Yeah? On TV. Elmore's Most Wanted. <sighs> It's just our parents trying to teach us a lesson. Like when my dad tried to teach us the dangers of texting while walking. Help me! I pulled down this manhole because I was texting while walking. Darwin, you can't seriously be scared of these guys. Of course I am. They're criminal masterminds. I just think it would be fun. I've never been in a hovercraft. No, we should ask for a private jet. They always ask for a private jet. Could it be a private hovercraft? We need to ask for money. How much? It doesn't matter. The police know this is all fake. See? They're not scary. You're right. We just need a leader to reason with. Someone brave. <clears throat> Someone who's not afraid to look the enemy in the eye. <clears throat> Someone who laughs in the face of danger. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you, Gumball, but you're obviously sick. Maybe less. No, me! I'll do it! Oh, but hovercrafts are... Hmm? Uh, Dad? It's Mr. Pink. Fine, Mr. Pink. I know it's you, Dad. Uh... I've never heard of this dad of whom you speak. I'm just a criminal. How did I become a criminal, you ask? I didn't ask. I suppose it all started when I was 11 years old and skipped a math class. Uh -huh. And for this crime, the punishment was harsh and swift. I spent 12 years in juvie, then five years inside, then 24 years on the run, then 30 years back in the big house, then a further seven in solitary. That makes you 89, it doesn't add up. Well, I wouldn't know, because I skipped that math class. Sure. So, I assume you all ended up in a life of crime through skipping school? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, my tragic story starts on the right side of the tracks, but boy, it sure doesn't stay there. Yeah, yeah, we get it. But I learned the whole thing. Don't I get to... Oh... See, I told you, it's a load of hooey. Take the wheel and get me closer. 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 We are willing... Okay, too close. We are willing to meet your demands. I'll throw the money over in three, two, one. <laughs> that one's gonna hurt the taxpayer. Control, we need another million dollars. They doubled their demands? Uh, uh, yeah, they doubled their demands. Uh. Wow, we're really going big on this. If only they responded this fast to real crimes. Where do you want the money? Leave the million dollops of unmasked bulls on the cold desert toad. What? Oh, sorry. Autocorrect. Leave the million dollars of unmarked bills on the old desert road. Our units fall back ahead of second dropout. Any sign of him, Chief? I'm cooking out here. They're on their way. Make the drop. Okay, you hold on to me, and I'll reach out and grab the briefcase. Get it? <laughs> okay, we have the money. Now, we don't want to see any red lights between here and the airport. Go ahead and put the airport. We gotta take him down. You want a copy, huh? Well, 
one copy this! Ha! <laughs> 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 ah, I just made you eat cowboy caviar! Dude, he's standing next to the lighties. Wait, so... Stop it! It makes me want to ralph with other people! <laughs> so, we were in the exotic food aisle, and they were copying everything we did! Exotic food... They were like us, but fake. Like margarine to our butter. Margarine and butter. Seriously, it was like looking at a mirror made of meat. Mirror. Are you even listening to what we're saying? Oh, honey, everyone has a doppelganger. Remember that sunburnt guy's belly that looked like Anais? You don't understand. They were literally cupping everything we... <gasps> there they are! What the... Uh. Look at this! Click translate. Oh, here's my doppelganger, Chi Chi. This goat is attention of the center. He is serious, don't you trust him? A heavy party love hero with powerful personality defectives. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no sense. Look at mine, Ribbit. This frog is a frog. But why? He's so green and mighty you wouldn't trust him with lunch. What's that? Yes, he is determined. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a tired, lazy belly male lurking inside sofa. Watch him obnoxious, laugh, and spoil yourself. <laughs> I think I just spoiled myself a little. Look at mine. Wowee, what a mother. Who cares if she's annoying? You? <laughs> <laughs> What's my doppelganger like? <laughs> Deleted. What? Why? Because women no right to celebrate in Republic of People. <laughs> Of it because I'm a girl. <laughs> no, I mean these guys have their own TV show and they're ripping us off. Oh, look at this. The kids you decided to have. <laughs> these guys are making money out of our lives while we're broke. Come on, we're not that broke. Mom, we're so broke that we give you owe to charity. Mm, yeah, you're right. We should sue them. Guys, a lawyer would cost way too much dough. How much dough? Like thousands of dollars. I mean, how much in cookie dough? <sighs> Millions of tons. <gasps> Wait a minute. How could they copy that? It literally just happened. It literally just happened. <gasps> what? what the what? What the what? Oh. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's settle this in a civilized manner. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Gumball. Hi, my name is Chi. Stop repeating everything I say! But when someone says hi, So, Mr. and Mrs. Watterson, I called you in today to discuss concerns regarding your daughter Anais. Judging by this alarming painting, you, madam, are suffering from work-related stress. You, sir, are not a good role model, and these two children are clearly lacking in discipline. <laughs> when I look at this painting, I see a family that... A family that has problems. Principal Brown, if I may interrupt... Oh, don't worry, sweetie. It's not your fault. It's your fault! I'm sorry, Princess Cheesecake. The sausage fairy made me do it. Sweetie, I had no idea we were such a terrible family. <laughs> please, please! Anyway, for the good of your family, I've drawn up a recovery schedule to get you back on track. <laughs> I'll make it short. You, madam, need to stop working and relax. Your husband needs to stop relaxing and work. As for you, Gumball and Darwin, <laughs> you'll be spending the day with Mr. Small, the school counselor, to channel your energy in a less destructive way. 
Well, Principal, we'd be happy to try anything if you think it's going to help Anais. Can I just say something? You don't need to, uh. sweetie. We're all going to get better. Right, boys? Uh-huh. I said, right, boys? Yes, of course, honey. What did I just agree to? You gotta get a job. No! Well, thank you, Principal Brown. We'll do our best. Mr. Water. Welcome to my five step program for undisciplined children. Step one Primal Scream. What's that? It's when you channel all your rage into a violent vocal release, like this. Ah! You guys try it. Uh, I don't think I have any rage. Me neither. Everyone has anger, Gumball. Just look inside yourself and find it. Inside? Yes, hang. Uh, no, nothing at all. Try it anyway. Okay. <gasps> oh, you could do better than that. <gasps> okay, Darwin, your turn. Take a deep breath and let it all out. <gasps> Okay, Nicole, relax. It's for the good of my daughter, so I'm just going to sit and do nothing. Oh, this is going to be hard. So, how about those FK reports that Simon drew up? Oh, yeah, I was reading them in the bathroom. <laughs> Too much information, Charlie. <laughs> 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 I think you're the best employee we ever had at Chanex Incorporated. Here's the key to the executive washroom. <gasps> no way. Way, way, way. Well, all I have to do is make that dream come true and I'll be fine. I'll do it for you, my little girl. And need that key to the executive washroom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You'll never see me. Best friends. 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 For a very long time, I've watched you from afar, hunched in your closet, or strapped beneath your car. I treasured all the stories the three of us share. Wherever you are, I'll always be there. There too, behind the shower curtain that you never knew. I dressed in your clothes and points in your air. I watched you both sleep and nuzzled your hair. It helps that your bedroom has places to hide and the windows don't lock so I can get inside. I've waited so long to be a part of your life. And one day one of you will call me his wife. <sighs> Need to have a reasonable conversation with this young lady. Where is she? We've been looking for two hours now. Oh, oh man, not good. You okay, Mr. Small? Oh, oh. Why are you looking at that painting like that? Oh, thank Mother Earth. You can see it too. Which we mean it's you. 
Wait, don't you want to see what's inside my locker? Is this another one of your tricks? Why would we want to see inside your locker? Because this is the part of the story where you realize maybe I do all this. Because I'm lonely. No, Sarah. This is the part of the story where you realize there is no story. And you leave us alone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, look at this. The first people who spoke to me at Elmore Junior High. And this, the coolest kids in school. Gumball and Darwin. The only people who really know me. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I know, right? I'm definitely taller than you! And if my eyes were that close together, I'd be a cyclops! No! She really cares about us, and we just pushed her away! Look at this! The amazing adventures of Gumball, Darwin, and Sarah. Oh man, all she ever wanted was to be included. This, this is today. Here's us at lunchtime. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Look at that hand, it's like a big thumb. Little well, hands are difficult to draw. Here's us watching the video. And here's Sarah walking off just a second ago. I wonder what happens next. Mm, well, whatever it is, hope she goes to art school. No, you say, we're her only friends. We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. We're her only friends? We have to do whatever it takes to make her happy. <gasps> right, how do we do it? It's all right here. Be alone. It's all right, guys. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do, Sarah! I have been touched by the beauty of your art. And now, I think I love you. No! You cannot love her, for I love her more. She's beautiful and yellow and runny and funny. She can stay, but... Oh, thank you! You're such a kind and friendly family. You know, I've never had friends before. I don't even know what friends do. Don't worry, we'll show you. Now, a very important part of friendship is sharing. Imagine you both have ice creams. Oh! But what's this? Darwin has dropped his ice cream. I said, Darwin has dropped his ice cream. <laughs> you got it on my shoes. And do you want to share mine? Very good. Ice cream Darwin! Oh, thanks! But Gumball, you don't have an ice cream! Want to share mine? Sure. Oh. Dude, this is so gross. Why don't you pretend you have your own ice cream? No. Why didn't I think of that? Friends also high five. Like this. High, high five. five! Okay, now it's. Your... No, I meant slap my. Let's move on to the next lesson. How about we all play a game? Like friends do. Here's one we made up. It's called Dodge or Dare! Dare! Roll the dice. Take a card. What What'd you get? Put a gooey hairball in Miss Simeon's lunch. Huh. Let me take that. Pick another. When Miss Simeon's back is turned... Ah, actually, let me pick one for you. Oh, come on, Simeon. Slug juice, drop water balloons on Simeon. Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon, Miss Simeon. <laughs> Forget the cards. Here's a dare. Make the most annoying noise possible. <laughs> okay. That was good, but we know that you can do better. Like when you're mad at us. Oh, you mean this little thing? Gumba! <laughs> that... Uh was awesome! High five! That still needs a little work. I've got my eye on you, Simeon. <laughs> Do it again, bitch! <laughs> I'm so pleased to finally have such great friends! Ah, we, we love, love you, Miss Simeon. Simeon. Sorry, kids. Miss Simeon, can I have a word with you in private, please? Yes, Nicole. How can I help you? Listen, Simeon, you might have the rest of them fooled, but I don't trust you for a second. I remember you from school. I remember the horrible name you used to call me every day. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. And I'm sorry. What? I was that horrid person for so long, and look where it got me. No friends, no family, just bitterness and wrinkles. But even an old ape can change. 
Will you give me that chance? Oh, I don't know. It's all happening so fast. Please. Ooh, okay, I'll I'll give it another shot. What do we do now, best friends? Ah, uh, let's see. I know. Best friends write letters to each other about how great they are. Wow, what a friendly idea. What shall we write? Uh, how about we, the aforementioned, unanimously agree that Miss Savine is worthy of this year's favorite teacher award? Favorite teacher award. Okay, done it. <laughs> it's mine! Look how happy she is. And that's the power of friendship. Oh, come on, Adrian. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. I can't. I got no hands. Ugh, fine, I'll do it for you. Six, right. Pick a card. I still have no hands. Oh, do I have to do everything? Listen, Gumball, do you really want to be doing this? I mean, we've never hung out before, and now we're having a sleepover. Can I ask for your opinion, Alfred? Can I at least phone my mom? Fine, but keep it quick. Still no hands. Number! <laughs> this is going to be the most fun you've ever had. All for just 10 bucks. Catch! Catch! What were you doing? No hands! Oh. Look, Gumball, what's really going on here? Oh, Arthur, who am I kidding? I'm not having as much fun as I've been making out. All I can think of is Darwin. Go to him. Huh? Your best buddy is about to play computer games with someone who's rich, athletic, multicolored, and a good listener. He'll never play Dodge or Dare with you again. <gasps> They'll be best friends forever and I'll just be a memory. I have to get my best buddy back. <gasps> but it's too late. Dude, it's never too late for friendship. Yes! I'll never forget you, Adam! Andrew! Alice! <laughs> Please, let me your bike. I'm about to lose my best friend. Okay. 50 bucks. <gasps> 20 bucks. 70. <gasps> Get out of the way. I can't. Get out of the way. I'm a brick wall. Hey, Mutt, what's with all the commotion? <laughs> Garden, I think. <laughs> Come ball. Dude, I'm outside. Oh. First, we gotta get you out of here. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Are you sure about this? Don't worry, you're in safe hands. Ready? Breathe in, breathe out. Enough! <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, I'm not sure what he sees in that woman. But anyway. Come on, Mr. Robinson. Let's show her you still got it. Okay, now go ballistic. I can't, kids. I'm not that man anymore. Then we'll do it for you. Hey, you! Mr. Robinson's wife! Come and have an argument with him! I mean, me! We're gonna have a fight and you're gonna like it! Ha! How do you like my arguing, huh? So you ain't Graham! Wanna make out? <laughs> oh, you made it worse. I didn't think it was possible, but you made it worse. <laughs> Ah, the ghost! He's about to attack the children! Ah, ah, this is for attacking my kids! And this is for my sausage! Now get out of my garden, you Stop have to it. It's Mr. Robinson! Oh, sorry. Ow! Show yourself, ghost of Mr. Robinson! Hey, what's up, neighbor? I've had enough of this family. Your tacky lifestyle, your ugly house, your cheap garden shed! I'll smash it to pieces! <laughs> It's more solid than I thought. But this is what I do to your unfashionable deck chairs! And as for your crummy thrift store vacuum cleaner, buy cheap! Buy twice! And this is what I think of your two dollar clip on tie. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Welcome back, Mr. Mr. Robinson. Robinson! Thanks. So, since we saved your marriage and everything, I guess that makes us best friends forever. So can we call you Gaylord instead of Mr. Robinson? Don't push it, kid. Now, take me home, woman. <laughs> What was that all about? Well, there never was a ghost, Dad. It was Mr. Robinson. We hit him in the attic. No. I mean, what's wrong with our house? Our shed and my tie. <sighs> Dad, you know what I do when I feel like a loser? I look at this. Yeah. <sighs> I feel better now. <laughs> Who does he think he is anyway? Two dollar clip on tie. At least I know how to treat my wife. <laughs> <sighs> Richard! So, that's one large fries. I mean, I don't have any real beef with my dad. Sure, he's made mistakes. But now there's too much time to catch up. And all this has left me in a, a bit of a pickle. While he's going on to make a hash brown of his life. It's so hard when a parent deserts you. And now I Donut. know what to do. Every night ice cream inside. I just feel so awful. I ought to tell him how I feel, but I guess I'm too much of a... Homeless chicken! And comfort eating is not going to make me any happier. This doesn't look good to me. I don't think anyone would enjoy the sight of a grown man smearing burger meat into his face in a kid's ball pit. Yep, even in Japan, that's pretty niche. <laughs> Isn't all this eating dangerous? Man, this is Richard Watterson. He can take it. Yeah, I was more worried about the staff. It was like shoveling french fries down an elevator shaft. Well, now my brain and my stomach are sad. I've got an idea. This is what I do when I feel blue. I look at the clouds and see that even the darkest ones eventually drift away. And it's fun because they make shapes. Like that one. It looks like a hat. A hat like my father's. Uh, sure. How about that one? It's like a horseshoe. Shoes of a walking, like he walked out on me. Ugh. 
Well, how about that one? It looks like a... Uh, oh. Looks like a popsicle. Oh, uh, I guess. Popsicles are cold like the Arctic Ocean, and that's cold because it's got lots of icebergs in it. That's why it's dangerous for ships, because icebergs sink ships, and what's the first thing to leave a sinking ship? A rat. <gasps> and rats are covered in fleas, just like my father fleed from me. Yeah, we got it. He could have stopped at rat. I just, I, I don't know what else to do. Dad, you just got to talk to Grandpa Frankie about it. <sighs> There's no point. He's just a con man. The best I can hope for is that the next time I see him, he doesn't hustle me out of $700 with that ball and cups trick again. These cups and this ball are worth $2,000. But as you're my son, I'll let you have them for $700. <gasps> uh, I don't know what to say to him. I can't put it into words. Would it help to sing it? You know what? I think maybe it would. <laughs> Was that clear? Uh, uh, uh -huh. But that doesn't mean you can't fix whatever that was between you. I would need to make a time machine. Why? Because if I invented a time machine, my dad would be really proud of me. It's too late anyway. I'll never get those years back. <laughs> no, not true. You can't travel back in time and experience the things you guys missed, but you can travel forward in time and fix the things that are yet to come. Because the future starts now. <gasps> huh, that was really good, wasn't it? <laughs> kind of surprised myself there. I was like, the future starts now. Bam! Nailed it! <laughs> the future starts now. 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 <laughs> Yeah, sorry, let's just get on with it. <laughs> oh, there, there you are. So, here's the plan. You guys go through everything a father and son should have shared, but, like, really fast. Three, two, one, go! So, uh, where do we start? How about a piggyback ride? Okay. That's as good a place as... <laughs> oh, man. Ow! Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome to the stage our second and final act, Mr. Gaylord Robinson! Good luck, Dad! <clears throat> Up till now, my life's been good. Treated me well. I can't complain. Met a woman, raised a kid, and every day just felt the same. But there's something deep inside of me that always wanted to be free. And now I think the time is right to show you what I mean. I wanna sing, I wanna dance, I wanna touch the sky with my own two hands. If I sing to the world, it'll set me free and let me be who I wanna be. Dance, dance and sing. What's he doing? I don't know, but it's pretty good. Now's our chance to assess me. As I whisk you off to a wonderland, I'll hip hop and jive with my heart. Did Gumball see any of that? Stand up up to the rock and the roll. Maybe you'll notice the trap door. I'll fly like a bird if you set me free. Like a skylark on the wing, a rosebud in the spring. Like a gangster in his bling. Like fish bait from a sling. Like a puppet with no string. Like an English feudal king. Like all those kinds of wonderful, wonderful things. Show yourself assassin and fight like a man! Let's try the special effects. Under the seat? Whoa, who is this guy? That's my dad. Rock on, dude! I wanna be free!
Go away! Oh my gosh. You really did save my life. But that doesn't excuse you from ruining my performance! So much. I don't deserve all of this. I really don't. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. But your love means so much to me. Thank you, you, Infinite Universe, for sending us our very own star, Mr. Robinson. Thank you, everybody. I love you. You put me where I am today. Thank you so much. Squished Mr. Robinson. Nah, he's okay. Let's go home. We did the best we could. Oh! It's not so bad. We found this tube of glue stuck to your, uh... Anyway, in future, you need to be more careful. This tube was covered in holes. But it wasn't when I lent it to Gumbo. Hmm. 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 Oh, come on! I can understand the glue, but why the glitter? It's like putting lipstick on a skeleton. It doesn't make it any nicer. Yeah, you were right. We should have let that pen stuff slide. about that much. Take that, you banana. Oh, look! A pit! And it's not chewed! What else can we do to it? Attention, please, get Gumball and Darwin Watterson, please come to Mr. Small's office. Thank you very much. Any conflict can be resolved with these three tools. The mirror reminds us that an enemy is just ourselves, but seen from another angle. The water reminds us that we all have something in common. And the hourglass is the time we need to reach an understanding. your pen honestly but i bought you a new one because i myself have a pen of great sentimental value <laughs> it's not a fountain pen is it actually yes it is <coughs> it's the pen that obadiah banana the founder of our family used to sign the registry when he first came to this country <coughs> it was a very expensive pen i'm not even gonna tell you where he had to hide it to keep it safe <laughs> but i would lose my mind if anyone chewed on that pen Anyway, please accept this new pen, and let's be friends again. <gasps> Dude, we have to get to his locker before he sees what we've done. Thank you, we gotta go now, bye. One minute. Thank you for a beautiful resolution. Banana Joe, you can go. I just need to fill out your hall pass, guys. Gumball. <laughs> That's a funny name, isn't it? D do you spell it with two or three L's? Two. Two L's. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just put one. Dude! You could have just put another one at the end! Of course! A silly old hippie. I'll do another one. Oh, wait, I'm all out. Uh, I'll have to print one. Come on! Huh? Just print it, please! Yeah, sure. Here it is. Hold reliable. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know how it works. Just let us go, okay? You seem a little stressed up, guys. You want to try my herbal infusion? It's very good for the nerve. Oh. day, but that's okay, because it's nothing a good song won't fix. When life hands you lemons, you gotta make some lemonade. <gasps> Darwin, stop it already. It's getting embarrassing. Come on! How's it going? Ah, it's great. Except for the fact that this is turning out to be the worst day of my life! <clears throat> it's like I'm cursed or something. Watterson, this school has a dress code. These rags are obscene. Get to Lost and Found. They'll provide you with something more suitable. But Principal Brown... Uh -huh. <sighs> there you go. Much better. You've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry, dude, but this isn't a department store, you know. Oh, Rocky, there's got to be something else. You're in luck! People think I'm a fruit, but I'm also classified as an herb. <gasps> what? <laughs> Where did you get your clothes? Lost and found? <laughs> well, actually, yes, I did. Oh. Uh, hey, where did you get your clothes? The circus? <laughs> Dude, we kind of just went over this already. Lost and found. Oh. Hey, where did you get your clothes? The swim shop and the hat shop? <laughs> 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 Where did you get your brain from? The dollar store? Seven hours detention for hurting my feelings. What? But... I'll see you after school. Fine. Ow! Oh, paper cut! <laughs> uh, Gumball, are you okay? Everything's great, Darwin. Everything's just peachy. Oh! Darwin! Don't take everything I say so literally! Okay... What about what you just said now? Should I take that literally? Uh, no. Yes! No! I don't know! <laughs> Talk to me. I think I'm cursed. Hmm... Then what you need is a good luck charm. Guys! There are no such things as lucky charms, curses, or tickets falling from the sky. There must be a scientific explanation for what's happening to Gumball, like there is for everything. Oh, yeah? How does your science explain the magic of rainbows, then? Huh? Diffraction of light through moisture in the atmosphere. It's a sad world you live in. Come on, Gumball. Darwin, how will I know if it's a four-leaf clover? Simple! They've got four leaves, and they're extremely rare. Rare? They're one in a million. Rarer than the rarest found one. Top of the morning to you. Ooh. I can already feel my luck changing. Hey, look, a lucky book. So that's three kids' meals, a salad, and 47 double cheeseburgers. 47? Richard! Relax. I asked for Swiss cheese. It's healthier. What? How? It's got holes in it. Let's make that one cheeseburger and some carrot sticks. What? If you don't feed me properly, how do you expect me to keep my six pack? You're what? You'll miss this when it's gone. That's 17 bucks, 15 cents. Uh... I'm sorry, the card has been declined. It says insufficient funds. I don't understand. There should be money on that card. Where's it all gone? Hmm, I don't want to point the finger, but... Dad, what'd you do with the money? <laughs> 
Well, I did what all the business sharks do to avoid getting taxed. I transferred it to an offshore bank account. Richard, what exactly have you done with my... Sorry, our... No, wait, actually, my money. Like I said, I put it offshore. But not before converting it into gold. Oh. Ah! Step back! She's gonna severely reprimand him! Don't worry, kids! I'll calm her down with my irresistible charm! We're broke. <laughs> no, wait. We can't afford the water bills now. This is all we got. Drink up. Hey, there might be a less gross solution. We're filming a commercial for Joyful Burger in here later. So? So, you guys are the ideal Joyful Burger family. What do you mean? Not too attractive, not too intelligent, totally dysfunctional. You guys have got it all. And you'll get paid. Where do we sign? No! We're not going to let ourselves be reduced to some cliches for a quick corporate buck. We're the Watersons, and we don't sell out. <sighs> What's that? I symbolically burned it, because I'm not allowed to use a real lighter. Wait! Are you guys already convinced? I haven't even done my rant about how the little fish got together to make a thing. Now what? The fridge. What? There's nothing in there. Exactly. Where's all the food? Gumball, you're the one who wanted us to keep our dignity and not sell out. This is what happens when you can't buy things. You don't have things. Then why'd you all listen to me? Because no matter how hard it is for me to admit, you are... <laughs> you are... <laughs> Darwin, you tell him it's making me gag. What she's trying to say is, you're right. We shouldn't sell out. Funny, I thought victory tastes sweeter. What does it taste of? Mm. <laughs> kind of like hunger. <laughs> Look, we might have run out of food, but we've still got each other. <laughs> hey, hey, let's not panic. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for this. We've just been kidnapped and we're all wearing blindfolds. <laughs> Guys, stop! It's because we haven't paid the electric bill. There's no power. We may as well just go to bed. <laughs> there you go, all tucked up tight. Good night, kids. Night, night Mom! Mom. Don't worry, honey, it's just our stuff getting repossessed. By these low-life bottom feeding undereducated, unhygienic, slimy, no-neck, toxic, triple chinned, oxygen wasting, crude, gutless, foul smelling, buck tooth corrupt, felonious, disgraceful, disease ridden, bow legged, yellow bellied, backstabbing, ghoulish, vulgar, despicable, worm headed, worthless stains! <laughs> I'm only doing my job! Why are you so mean? <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Probably going too far. That TV's broken. Is it? It is now. Ma'am? What? Dude, hello, it's only a game. I don't understand, man. I've never got this far before. Look how much I'm sweating. Stop it, you'll electrocute yourself. Round complete. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I can't beat the final boss, man. I'm weak. You're not weak. You just lack upper body strength, lower body strength, and mental strength. Slap me. Harder. Ow! Softer. Okay, maybe somewhere in between. That was exactly right. Come on, you can win this by the power of button mushing! You win. Dude, what's the point in learning all these combos if all you need is button mashing? Who cares? Top score! Oh, man. It's only three letters in the top score. Mm, where do I go with? Gum or ball? Maybe go with the least dumb sounding. You're right. Let's go with ball. No, wait. Why don't you use your real name instead of your nickname? Great idea! Wait, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? What kind of guy doesn't know his own name? You're gonna know it either, do you? Yeah. Then this shall be my quest. I will find out that name. I will stop at nothing. I will leave no stone unturned. I will climb the highest mountain, explore every island, search every cave. I will question every man, woman, and animal. Fight a bear if I have to. I'll wear shorts. I'll milk a fish. I'll shave a baby. Climb a rainbow. No, that would be ridiculous.
But I will, like an owl, I will wrestle a senior citizen in jello! I'll kick a crab in the face! I'll steal a watch from a ghost! I'll eat a beard! I'll marinate a plumber! And when they write about me in history books, they will say, he did what had to be done to find out his real name. Your real name? It's Zack. Team water set. Go out more ducks! Woo! Hey Carrie, I think we really nailed that song last night. We're totally gonna win the battle of the bands, man. You're not in a band. I'm not in a band. I bet you can even give me the name of a band. Yeah, like Germany. Watch out, world! There's a new cat in town, and he's cool! School's over already? Yeah, and you spent the whole day with one eyebrow raised behaving like a horrible jock. Are you all right? Oh, Zach is fine. Are you sure? Because Zach is kind of digesting part of an apple kid's face right now. That's because Zach does what he wants. Sorry, but who exactly is this Zach? I thought it'd be like Gumball, but with a shorter name. No! Gumball's a loser. Zach is the man. Zach doesn't ask. He takes. Uh, dude, what are you doing? Zach doesn't have to explain himself because he smells so good. Zach, listen to me. Zach doesn't listen. He hears. That's the same thing. Oh, wait, what was that? I'm afraid I can't listen to you. What? Oh, walk with me. See, Zach doesn't wait for doors to open. He punches right through them. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. See, here's another example. Zach doesn't waste his time. He goes straight to the point. <laughs> Make way, losers! I'm more important than you! Where's your sense of adventure? Stop! Can you hear that? It's just our tires. See? They're onto us. We proceed by foot. <sighs> Is that it? An empty mailbox? All of this was a wild goose chase sending us to the middle of nowhere at 3 a.m. in the pouring rain! And what's the stupid shovel for? I'll show you what it's for. This is for wasting our time, and this is for kicking me up one night, and this is for the rain, and this is for not breaking how many ever times I hit you, and this is for giving us pointless <gasps> clues like this stupid bunch of doodles! No, no, wait! That's not a doodle. It's a map. Look, here's the mailbox. That's the creepy windmill. This must be the forest. Okay, cool. We need to go now. Hold on. I need to figure out where we're going. No, we need to go right now. They found us! We need to get to the treasure before they get to us! I think it's my turn to go to the front, okay? Found the forest! Great! We're looking for an old twisted tree in a clearing. <laughs> They're still coming! Are you sure about this? It looks kind of dangerous! It's fine, just don't look down! <laughs> Why'd you make us do that? I didn't! I said don't look down! <laughs> You did it again! Oh, come on. This thing's been here forever. It's totally safe. Treasure better be worth it. Guys, look! There it is! That must be it! Stop digging! Dad? No. Yeah, it's me. Look! I've got it! No! 
please, don't open the box. I'll give you anything you want. We want whatever's in the box. No! Not just a piece of paper. It's the reason we'll never be able to afford what we want. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? <sighs> it was 12 years ago. Gumball was just born. Your mother stayed at the hospital while the doctors tried to work out why he was so ugly. I was left at home alone. It was the beginning of the internet. Click now for an out-of-this-world property investment for the future of your kids. Yes! I clicked too quick. I should have waited for the page to finish loading. Property investment for the future of your kids. Great, 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 great. Grandchildren's children. I tried to get the money back, but the company had already gone bust. So in my shame, I buried the evidence. So it was you who hid the bank statements and tried to steal the key back. Yes! Yeah, well, well, that was a very interesting story, Dan. Well done. But what did you buy? I'll tell you exactly what it was. He bought a, a star. You talk in your sleep. And you don't hate me? I knew you tried to do well. It wasn't your fault, honey. It was the internet. You know what? It's kind of cool that we have our own star. Which one is it? It's no use, Darwin. We're gonna be stuck in here forever. It's the last time I come in here to whistle for you. But if you don't whistle, I can't go. I never thought it would end like this. Stuck in a bathroom forever. At least we've had some pretty good times. And some crummy ones, too. Look, Darwin, if we don't get out of here, there's something I need to tell you. <gasps> Remember that time they found a creepy picture in your school book and you said you didn't do it? Well, that was me. What? I had to go to counseling for that. I lost my whole summer. I'm sorry, dude. Mr. Small put me in an isolation tank. Well, let's not dwell on the past. <gasps> Gumball, there's something I haven't told you, too. And it's probably going to shock you. What? Is it really bad or something? It's pretty bad, yeah. Last week... Oh, man, I'm so glad it's you. I thought this place was haunted by a couple of screaming girls. We're, We're saved. saved! How long have we been here? About three minutes. Oh, uh, wait, what were you going to say back there, by the way? Huh? You were going to say something, remember? Oh, don't worry about that now. We're free. <laughs> I love this game. It's so much fun. Yep. Hey, you know what else was fun? When we were stuck in the bathroom and you were going to tell me that secret. Yeah, that was fun. Just out of curiosity, what was that little secret? It's better you don't know. Sure, but you know, I told you mine, therefore I think it's better you tell me yours. Nah, let's just play instead. Yeah, let's just play. <laughs> Look at him standing there, knowing his secret. I'll get it out of him if it's the last thing I do. Wow, you're pretty good at this. End it! Gumball wins. There you go, old pal. What's the occasion? Can't the guy just make a meal for his best buddy? This hasn't got anything to do with the secret, has it? Secret? No. What secret? Hmm. You're giving me this food, so I'll tell you the secret, aren't you? Am I? Aren't you? <sighs> Did you do something to this food? I don't know. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Tap's a little tight, eh? <laughs> Looks like we're all out of 
drinks. Oh, wait, what's this? You want it? What's the secret? Oh, well. It's all right, then. But that's still two hours of detention for potentially damaging my beautiful face. Really, Principal Brown, you need to be firmer huh? than that. Oh, okay. Four hours detention. Eight hours? Mm, good. See you in detention, Watterson. Mom, you're not helping. think you look like a dodecadork with your mom at school. <laughs> what does that mean? It's a 12-sided dork, honey. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. Mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Come on, honey, open the tunnel for the choo-choo train. <laughs> mom, you're not helping. <laughs> Tina thing was kind of helpful, but this has gone too far. Wait a minute. I... Uh, thanks. Now, seriously, I need you to stop meddling with my life. I'm not meddling. I'm helping. Helping by meddling. You're just a big meddler. I'm not a meddler. I'm your mother. And a meddler. <laughs> hey, isn't that the girl you like? Mom, no! Uh, excuse me, Penny. Have you got a second? Sure, but you guys will need to be quick. The cheerleader tryouts are about to start. Mom, if you love me, please don't do this. Oh, come on, Gummy Puss. Don't be shy. My baby has something to say to you. <gasps> no, I don't. He'd like to take you out on a date. Uh, that's not true. He loves you. Really? No, I don't! I don't love Penny, and I never will! Gumball? Well... Thanks for being honest with me. No, wait! I meant I'll never love peanuts! No, ponies! <laughs> See what you did? You upset Penny! How am I supposed to get her back? Well, you know, I could help you with That's that. That's enough, okay? That's enough! I'm my own man now. I make my own decisions, and I don't need you babying me any muck. Any muck. Uh, thanks. Now just go home, okay? Oh, come on. We all had a great time, didn't we, Darwin? To be honest, I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. Why are you smiling then? Well, at first I was trying not to hurt your feelings, but now I'm just stuck. I beg of you, just get out of my life. Okay, I guess I'll just go home then. She's gone. I'll never smell again. Darwin! Mom, you're back! Yay! Do you know where your brother is? In the changing room. Thanks. Gumball, it's me. Open the door. No! No, I won't! What happened? Oh, it's awful! I made a decision on my own and it was bad. Listen, whatever it is you've done, you need to come out and face it. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm coming out. Oh, well, you were going to try and get closer to Penny by joining her cheer team, but now you feel embarrassed because you have to wear a skirt. What? No! I'm going to beat Penny at her own game so she'll realize how awesome and manly I am. Then she'll definitely want to date me. Right. So, what's the problem? The problem is me! What if I'm not as good as the other girls? What if they laugh at me? And this leotard makes me look fat, so I put this skirt on to hide my <gasps> butt. Mom, instead of milk, can we have chocolate milk? No. Instead of eggs, can we have chocolate eggs? No. Instead of bread, can we have chocolate bread? No. <sighs> Richard, can I get a little help here, please? Sure. Here, kids, stop bothering your mother and eat this chocolate. <sighs> what the? Well, what's the point in dragging?
dragging us here if we're not getting some kind of treat? Because we're having a nice family outing, and that should be reward enough. Don't you dare! <laughs> I'm on the jungle! <laughs> 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 oh, Mommy, I want some chocolate. I'm sorry, little sausage, but you've had too much candy this week. <laughs> Now all the little sausages are punished and going to have to wait in the car. This is the face she's going to get when she comes back. <gasps> yeah. Pretty good. But this is how you do a sulky face. <laughs> it's all in the detail. Eh, it would be better if it dropped. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we wasted a day at the mall without getting anything. You know what we should do? We should make full-size paper models of ourselves, set the car on fire, and push it off a cliff to teach Mom a lesson. Uh, I think I have a better, less horrific idea. Customer announcement. As part of our campaign, Huggy Bites are offering a lifetime supply of jelly beans to the first man to hug the blue lady in aisle three. Huh? Huggy Bites. More love than you can chew. <gasps> No! Get your hands off her! That's my wife! <gasps> if anyone should win those huggy bites, it's me! Hey! What is going on here? Please don't tell! <gasps> you should be ashamed of yourselves! What would your poor mother think about this kind of behavior? What would it take to make all this go away? 80-20. And throw in some huggy bites as well for tricking me and those poor customers. <gasps> That's it! I'm telling! Mrs. Mom, we came up with this really clever idea to get candy behind your back. Then Mr. Dad got us, and now he wants a massive cut of it. And it's back to the car. Your children deserve a better example. You need to grow up. Don't forget your appointment at the cardiologist. Boring! <laughs> Discipline. I'm not a punisher, I'm a fun! Uh, sure, and she's not the boss of me. Have you ever told her this? Uh, yeah, lots of times in my head. What about to her face? No, nah, kids, it's not me like a twig. Okay, I think we need to work on this. Let's go through it one last time. Who are you? I'm the man. And what does man do? Whatever the heck he wants. And why? Because I'm a beautiful, powerful animal. Then let me hear you roar. <laughs> now suck that gun in. <gasps> Ten those pecs. <laughs> uh, and how do you feel? Fantastic. Good. Now go and get us some candy. Hey, woman. You're gonna listen to me, and you're gonna listen good! I'm calling the shots now! Hey! You listen to the man when he's talking! <laughs> hey, who's this? <laughs> I'm a banana milkshake. I'm a banana milkshake. It's so much funnier than when Banana Joe does it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so pleased you convinced me to give Clayton one last chance. <laughs> convinced you? But who convinced me? Who <gasps> <laughs> 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 oh, has upset Clayton? Or it's a team. What did you bully say to Clayton? Wow, that's a really convincing Simeon. But there's a few things you've missed. The real Simeon has way more nose hair. And her eyes are more bulging. And her hair is disgustingly greasy. Oh, and she dribbles a lot. And she's got horns. Because she's evil. <laughs> oh, and she's always got a sausage in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're not Clayton, are you? What exactly is going on here? We lied! We lied about everything! We made up the school guy because Clayton trashed the locker room! So punish us! Punish us like the dirty soap dodging lions we are! I see no need for punishment. You've told the truth, and that's what's important. We should never speak of this again. Uh, uh, now run back to class, and don't forget to make up with Clayton. Whew. No, ah. I just need to 
need a couple of signatures from you, please. Why? The Razor's returned from suspension today. Razor? You know, the kid we suspended for smashing up the locker room. He's real? Uh, uh, I mean, what? Isn't that band Soldiers of Pain? They're pretty hardcore. I gotta go. How about a little kiss before you go? I gotta go. Out this window! <laughs> He's real! He's real! Yeah, sure. The skull guy that I made up actually exists. Oh, don't tell me. He's seven foot tall, covered in tattoos, and he's about to burst through those very... <laughs> doors. You know what time it is? Time to change my pants? No, it's time to kick some butt. <laughs> You're next. Uh, Clayton, you got a plan B? Yeah, literally. <laughs> Uh, can I get a little help here? You're going down. <gasps> we'll see about that. Notice for waxing my mustache. Mm. Huh? Mm. No, I haven't had my dentures widened, and I don't wear dentures. And by the way, I can plainly see you're all miming, so just man up and ask. What do we do wrong? <laughs> it might be that a certain someone forgot a certain something. Uh, you're being a bit hypocritical here. You can't be angry at someone for forgetting something if you can't even remember their name or what they forgot. <sighs> it's fine. No need to make a fuss about it. I got it. There must be some secret fuss that I shouldn't know about. No, there is no fuss. <laughs> no fuss. <laughs> got it. No, seriously, there is no fuss. You just said you didn't want to fuss. Also, what is all this fuss about? Sure, you didn't organize any fuss. I'm not bluffing. There's no fussing. <gasps> oh, I wonder who this could be. Oh, a singogram. Uh. Hello, my darling. Hello, my baby. This is from the IRS. You better pay it. They're getting serious. Your home will be repossessed. There you go. What? <gasps> A party! I knew it! Yay! <laughs> Even acupuncture couldn't save him. A special day, oh! Get 25% off at Dave's Skywriting Emporium? Wait, so you really haven't organized anything? Oh, okay. It's all right, it's quite all right, really. Don't make a fuss. Okay, then. <sighs> Something about her body language tells me she doesn't mean that. Yep, pack your bags, we're about to go on the round-the-world guilt trip, unless we figure out what we should be making a fuss about. <sighs> Dirty 
socks and filthy clothes When all I wanted was a sweet red rose And how could anyone forget Or fail to see why I'm upset He made me laugh with things he said But now he can't remember the day we... Ah! Gumbo, put out the fire! Ah! No, no! The song! Finish the song! No, a certain someone should know why today is important. Why did you say we shouldn't be making a fuss if you get all angry about it when we don't? No need to make a fuss is a thing people say, but they obviously don't mean it. It's all in the subtext, like when someone says, I'm only two minutes away. We should stay in touch. Or, it's fine, honey. Uh, okay. So are you gonna tell us what we should be celebrating? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. <gasps> Dad, did you find a mechanic? No! I think there's something wrong with the compass. Richard, show me that. It's a watch. You've been following it in a circle for 12 hours. <laughs> I'm so dehydrated, I can't even cry! It's okay. The sun's going down. It'll be dark. <gasps> Just in time to get eaten alive. Ah! Long way from home, ain't ya? <laughs> oh, it's okay. He's not toothless. Oh, thank you, sir, but we have roadside assistance. I'll just use my cell. You can try calling for help, but you won't get none. There's no signal here. <laughs> <laughs> Please excuse me for a second. I don't suppose you could help us, could you? Sure, but we better go soon. <laughs> we don't want to miss dinner. <laughs> okay, it's toothless now. Time to panic. Kid, stop staring at him. But Mom, it's the guy from the story. No, oh, don't be silly. Thank you again, sir. This is very kind of you. Don't worry about me. I'm just working up my appetite. <laughs> We're being pushed to our doom. Really, really slowly. Look, just because he matches the story I made up doesn't mean he's a psycho, even if he is obviously, you know, dentally challenged. And anyway, I'd be very surprised if we ended up in a derelict gas day. Yeah, oh, what do you know? Here we are, your final destination. Really? He lives in a gas station? Come on! It's just an assassination, an obliteration, an extermination. Oh, I mean a coincidence. How about you guys just go stretch your legs? I don't like this, dude. Me neither. We should watch our backs. That's much better. is caramelized. <gasps> caramelized. Mm. Mm. <sighs> he can't fix it. We're stuck here. But the good news is, he says he'll have us for dinner. Can you guys stop screaming every five minutes? Actually, we're doing a silent scream. We need to save our voices for when he hates us! You guys are being ridiculous, scaring yourselves with narrow-minded assumptions about country people. Big brain for such a small thing. I like that. <laughs> we gotta get out of here now! All right, that's it. I only get five days off a year. We already wasted Christmas when you decorated the house with whipped cream instead of fake snow. Merry Christmas. Oh! Uh, how much cream did you eat? Then there was the 4th of July. Be careful, Richard. Then your mother's visit. After you drop me at the mall, go to the grocery store and buy me a melon. Not too hard, not too soft. Then pick me up at 2.30. Don't be late, I have a 3 p.m. appointment at the beauty parlor, and by the looks of you, you could do with an appointment yourself. Then you need to collect my- And let's not forget Halloween. Happy Halloween! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Richard? There's some liquid in my lungs. So I am not going to ruin this by listening to your crazy assumptions. We said we were going camping, so we are going camping! <sighs> And it'll be nice. Thanks for the hospitality, sir. Could you just let us know when dinner's ready? Oh, don't worry. You'll be the first to know.
Sobreviva la presión! She's gaining on us! Ah! <gasps> that remote is mine! Then come and get it! being a responsible citizen. <sighs> Come on, dude! Cutie Vet starts in five minutes! But it, <laughs> la casa de las lágrimas que vienen son cinco minutos! No, it doesn't! Win or don't win does! Oh, I don't give it to me! I know you love it! Wait a minute! This isn't a TV remote. told me to get. Why would Anais tell you to buy the wrong... remote? She planned this whole thing from the start. First, she gave Mom the idea to buy a new remote. I wish I had enough money to buy my own remote! So when I called, she must have given me the name of her garage door opener. Fine. Let me have a look. It's a Logicar 2000. Thanks, honey. She overheard my riddle. I know Waited till you guys were at Butt Valley and cut a hole in the sofa so she could take the rear remote. And the remote she smashed upstairs must have been a decoy. Which means the real one must still be in the house. <gasps> Sugar. It probably just needs more sugar. Swap the sugar for the salt! <laughs> it was the greatest prank ever! Okay, you got me. But that's not the greatest prank. This is. Hey, Dad, does this ketchup look funny to you? Hmm, I'll check. But afterwards, don't forget to show me that prank you were talking about. 
looks okay to me. <laughs> what did you do that for? You got ketchup all over me. That was the prank. <laughs> yeah, we did it because it's funny. No, it isn't. It's only funny when it happens to someone else. How could you do this to your own father? <laughs> That wasn't very nice. You two should know better. What? You didn't tell him off for pranking us. You know it's too late for your father. I want you two to apologize by the time I get back. Do you think Mr. Dad would be okay? Nah, he probably forgot about it already. Hello, children. Hey, Dad. Dad. Why don't you try on these lovely new shoes? This is a prank, isn't it? What? Pr prank? What? Me prank you? Right? No! <laughs> no! Oh, it, uh, I would like to return these shoes, please. Unfortunately, sir, you seem to have filled them with baked beans. I did nothing of the sort, sir! Well, I'm sure you wouldn't mind putting them on and taking a walk to prove it, huh? And I'm sure I wouldn't mind either. <laughs> On second thought, I think I shall keep them. I happen to have grown quite attached to them. Welcome to Pranks for Beginners. Over the next 30 minutes... 30 minutes?! That's two subs, a muffin, and a tub of ice cream. Oh, and I better get a sausage for the last 19 seconds. Mmm. <laughs> Mental note. Next time, take food for the journey back as well. Step one. Go out onto the roof of the house. Step two. Take off all of your clothes. <coughs> Step three. Pretend that you are a ballerina while repeatedly slapping yourself in the face. <laughs> Dude, this cannot be real. I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! I'm a ballerina! Step five. Realize you've just been pranked. Step six. Try and fit down the chimney head first. <laughs> oh, look. He's been up all night trying to find a way to get back at us. Yep, he's definitely out cold. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on his face when he wakes up. <laughs> you need to have strong foundations, ideally with a man cave. You also need space. Two stories with a screening room for movie night should do, right? Yeah! And how about a hot tub for the winter? And a swimming pool for summer? Yeah! Great! Sign this, please. Now, let me talk you through the process. We start with you as you are right now, with a problem. Then we exchange. Then you leave happily. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think so. Great, so let's exchange. Well, it seems we've run out of things to say and... but, but, but. I meant to exchange my services for your money. Oh, sorry. Yes, of course. Very good. So, yeah, this never used to happen to us, but now it's like... And now, goodbye. Well, wait, what about all that building a house stuff? Oh, we're building all right. My pool house! Bye! Okay, what if we try something a little more off the charts? No, please, not him. Look, science let us down. We might as well give him a chance. Please, don't say it. No. Please, no! Did someone say alternative medicine? <sighs> so, you're saying you have no wind in your sails? Yes. The train won't leave the station? Yes. The goose is stuck in the hammock? Yes. The potato is wedged in your tailpipe? I'm not sure what we're talking about anymore. You've got trouble talking. Yes. Hmm, I see. I think we need to release the holisticness of your third eye chakras in order to boost your aura and stimulate the flow of chi to your tongue. What does that mean? It means this. How do you feel? Like I got punctured 200 times and set on fire. I meant between the two of you. <gasps> uh, uh, I, uh, no, still have nothing to say to him. Me neither. 
Wait, wait, I, I can feel something coming. Yeah, me too. It's like my tongue is tingling. That's really weird. I've done this procedure three times before and all my other patients had exactly the same result. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> but don't panic. Their lives went back to normal very quickly. <sighs> Once they accepted that this was their life now. You know, Darwin, as that backstreet doctor was violently draining the excess fluid out of our screaming faces using that grease-coated bicycle pump, I had an eye-opening moment. Tell me about it. My eyes are still popping out in shock. No, I mean that man had no diploma. He was just pretending to be a doctor. So? So what if we pretended too? I don't get it. Well, you know how we can't keep up a conversation? Yeah, it goes limper than an animator's handshake. Ah! Exactly. But what if it wasn't us doing the talking? What do you mean? Role-playing. If it works for fedora wizards in some basement, why not us? Who are you gonna be then? I'm Akane Ryuku, a shy anime kawaii girl who likes corgis and friendship. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh, hey, I'm Akane-chan. I'm not used to talk to people. <laughs> Asterisk blushes and turns away. Congratulations! You've won E-Foam Black Edition! Sugoi! Thank you, Sleeve McDaigle-senpai. It's the first time someone makes Akane-chan a present. Asterisk looks away all flustered. You want to be friends with Akane? What? Question mark. Equals my message not going through? Chat with me now and win dollars, dollars, dollars. What? Click link and talk. Mm. Dude, what the what were you role playing? A bot. So even Akane's conversation wasn't real? Asterisk bash his head on wall in anguish. Asterisk and realize it hurts a lot more in real life than in writing. What went on here? It all happened so fast. First of all, Darwin got angry because he thought he deserved a sunny cloud for winning some dodgeball game. Yeah, I remember that. And then Anais flipped out because Mom won't share top spot on the chart. What? Anais too? And when Mom put your face on the sun, I trashed the house. I got a son. Wait a minute, you trashed the house? Die right! And I'll do it again if she doesn't give me a star for my cheese crayon! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Feels good to win, doesn't it? Uh, no it doesn't! Your chart is ruining this family! They're all behaving like animals! I mean, <whistles> hello? We were all happy before! Do you even realize what you're doing to us? That's right. Use your anger. Cause you're gonna need it for our little family outing tomorrow. Why? What's happening tomorrow? Okay, people, first one to capture the flag wins. You get hit, you're out. Oh, but this is great. Hey, ball with crazy people. I'll be in the car. What have I got to do to get you to show a little competitive spirit? Okay, I'll play. But only if you tear down that stupid chart. Oh, I'll tear down that chart. If you win. All right, you're on. But please, everyone, this is a family outing. So let's play fair and try to have a little fun, okay? like other people's faces. What happened? Uh, I didn't even see her. See who, Dad? Your mom.
gone without me. I'm not going to leave you here. It's too late for me. You're the only one who can save this family from insanity. I saw the flag from the tree just over that hill. No. <laughs> no. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Don't move. I'm winning this thing. I don't think so. Hmm. One of mine, huh? You know it's for the best. <gasps> That's it! No! I'm sorry, but this is who I am! Huh. I don't feel any different. Do I look okay? Potato. Potato? Potato, potato. Potato! Potato! potato. Hello, Darwin. Hello. Nice to see you. Glad to have you back with us. Potato. We have things we need to tell you. Potato. If it is isn't too much fun. We really can't forgive you when you kind of sit to pieces. We wish you hadn't eaten all our nephews and our nieces. Mashed and baked and fried and roasted. Saute, boiled and grilled and toasted. Peeled up all our skin. Dug out all our eyes. Dice the sin to wedges and you slice the sin to prize. We are glad we came to see you. One more thing we must discuss. The final thing we need to say is please will you stop eating us? Uh, you okay, buddy? That's it! I need to do this on my own. I'm gonna lock myself in my room until I beat this thing. Uh, Mr. Small, Darwin just skipped out on the rest of the school day. Don't look at me! Potato! We did it! We did it! Darwin's given up eating potatoes! I knew you'd be pleased, but I didn't realize you'd get so emotional. I'm not. You just shut my hand in the locker. Oh, sorry. So what was that about Darwin? He's gone home and locked himself in his room to quit eating potatoes because it was upsetting you. Why would I be upset? I'm not the same potatoes as he eat in the canteen. Are you saying that all potatoes look the same? Uh, 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 Say no! No? Huh. I'm gonna go see Darwin. So it looks like everything worked out well in the end. I don't think you understand what just happened. Darwin is struggling to battle his potato cravings, and you just let Idaho, the potato, go off and see him. So we're good? You wee Sure is hot. I better put some sunscreen on. Well, plow my furrow. This ain't sunscreen, it's tanning oil. Look at me getting all crispy. Uh, okay, one more time. So Idaho has gone to see Darwin. Remember, Darwin is struggling to resist eating potatoes. Mm. And we if I have a serious expression and nod really slowly, it'll look like I'm listening to every word she says. Gumball! What? You do realize you said all of that out loud. Quick, think of a good excuse. And that! What do you think you're doing? I'm salting the roads for ice. But it's like 90 degrees out here, and it's June! I'm so fired. Okay, so here's a model of the block you live on. I'm sorry I didn't have time to build it to scale. So here's Darwin. Sarah, we don't have time for this. I just realized that Idaho is on his way to see the potato starve Darwin. And Idaho is a potato. <laughs> Seven months for this. I know. We waited so long, I had time to grow hair. Huh? Whoa. May I touch it? You may. Nice. Thanks. Come on, put the game on! Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there you are. 
god, there's something wrong with it. Try the other way around! Come on! Can't you see I'm practically flipping my flipper? What is that supposed to mean? And then put the game on! I can't! It's not working! I think we got stiffed. I'm sorry, kids, but it's store policy. I can't give you a refund. What? You have to. We asked you a ton of questions before we bought it, remember? What's bigger, a lion or a tiger? A tiger. Why is the sky blue? Diffraction of light, do nitrogen. Can anything escape from a black hole? Not unless it's a superheated quasar. What is 2,352 times 1,035? 2,434,320. If you know all this stuff, how come you're a store clerk? Look, you want this game or not? We'll take it. Actually, you never asked me anything about the game. Oh, you're right. But whatever, you have to give us a refund. It's been less than 24 hours. Look, guys, if it was up to me, I'd totally give you a refund. But the manager won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. Thank you for shopping at Ripley 2000. This is not the end of it, Larry Needlemeyer. Mark my words, we will get a refund! Hi, Larry. Can we have a refund, please? Get out of here. Ripley 2000. More like Rip Off 2000! Why is it 2000 anyway? It's not like it's the future anymore. Hi! Yes, Mr. Manager. I, uh, no, sir, I certainly didn't give a refund to those kids. Yes, I brought your suit to the dry cleaners and walked your dogs. Actually, the big one bit me. Oh, yes, he, he can be playful. This is why I was seven minutes late. Oh, yes, Mr. Manager, sir, it was entirely my fault. It won't happen again, sir. Have a nice day. Oh. This is the police! Ah. You're surrounded! Put your hands where I can see them! <laughs> now put your hands on the cash register and take out $20! Now go outside and swap it for this computer game! Hey, what kind of police are you? The... Super Real Police! The... Uh, uh, refund Department! Of... Justice! Nice try, kids! Darn! Uh, look, kids, I'm not gonna give you a refund. We're not here to ask for a refund. We just want you to look at my new shiny watch. Uh, it's kind of hard when you swing it like that. Did it work? Is he hypnotized? Let's test it. Okay, you're the world's most amazing dancer. <laughs> Ostrich. No, a gorilla! A gorilla <laughs> ostrich! <laughs> I'll have roller skates on! <laughs> and your butt's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> and now you're a store clerk giving us a refund? Sorry, it's against store policy. <sighs> now your butt's on fire again. Oh, come on. I told you, no refund. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to ask you for a refund. We just want two minutes of your time. Every year, hundreds of children buy faulty computer games and don't get refunds. This is Jimmy. Ugh. Oh, Mom, Darren is being a complete mom! No offense to you. Offense to you! I'm sorry, but your brother is right. Vegetables are full of pesticides, meat is full of hormones, fish is full of mercury, milk is not meant to be digested, sugar makes you fat, and bread is full of gluten. The only solution is to eat pure proteins, carbohydrates, fat minerals, and vitamins. It is for our own good. It, it is, is for our own, own good. good. Can you pass the iron? The only one here who thinks this is completely crazy! Is it crazy to keep your loved ones safe? I don't mind, as long as I'm full. Careful, Mr. Dad. It's dangerous to take too many vitamins. No. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'd like to complain about your cartoon. I disapprove of the use of dynamite. It is imitable and could endanger the life of a child. Where would a child be able to buy dynamite? Are you saying your channel and sponsors don't care about our nation's children? Okay, no dynamite. I'm sorry, we can't allow that either. But a child can't lift an anvil. But he might hurt himself trying. <laughs> ah, ah, no running in the road. 
And, of course, no violence. Oh, no, 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 no. I, w I wasn't really going to bite his tail. The joke is that he's going to give me my own tail. No jokes, please. A child might laugh and choke. Can we keep the music? No, thank you. It's the gateway to rock and roll, which is the root of all evil. Repeat after me. Uh, it's for our own good. It's for our own good. It's for our own good. No, no, guys, wait, look! I would never imitate what I see on TV! Guys, come back! <laughs> you know you can't talk to the characters inside the TV, right? And birds can carry diseases! Darwin tied us up while he went to make sure the rest of Elmore is safe. It, it is for our, our own good. good. How can this be for our own good? Don't you realize? <laughs> what is that? That's the best way for you to exercise safely. That was my idea. It, it is, is for our, our own good. good. Have you lost your mind? How could you give up your freedom? Okay, Gumbo, we don't have much time. Just do as I say. No! I love you, Mother, but I stand for freedom! No, Gumbo, you don't get it! Sorry, I can't hear you over my freedom! Gumbo, we're talking about the... Oh, that's right! Laugh it up! Let's all give away our freedom and laugh about it! <laughs> Everybody careful, I think we're being watched. <sighs> that's what you wanted to say, wasn't it? Of course. <laughs> What? Oh, nothing. Let's get out of here and stop your brother. He's at the town hall. We have to get there and stop him. Before what? He plans to invade the rest of the world to make it safe. How do you know all this? He told us. Why didn't you stop him? Because it's Darwin. He's really cute. Oh, he was all like, Oh, resistance is futile. Those who stray from the path will be corrected. Today is safe for Elmore. Tomorrow is safe for world. What? How could you not see that he was dangerous? Actually, now that I think of it, it must have been adorable. Aww. Aww. All right, let's take this cutie patootie down. <gasps> You will damage your eardrums by shouting, but under the new regime, you're under arrest for treason. Please don't force us to use our balloon batons. Wait, so that's not real? Maybe I should just try to forget about this. Reports of strange occurrences all around Elmore. At Food and Stuff, it's been nighttime all day. It's supposed to be noon! Meanwhile, residents were confused by unseasonal snow. It's supposed to be June! And one senior citizen seems to have inverted gravity. I'm supposed to be on the ground! See? I told you! This is all because of your father! Some things are not meant to be. Dogs shouldn't get on with cats, men shouldn't have ponytails, and your father is not meant to have a job! What are we gonna do? We have to stop him. Look, I'm sorry, but tearing apart the fabric of the universe is not a dismissible offense. Now please let me go. Don't you understand? You need to fire him! But he's doing okay! What if he delivers a pizza late? Uh, well, yeah, I guess I could fire him for that. Then he's not going to deliver this one. Mild or spicy, my flavors will exhilarate you. Get him double quickly when I'm twisting the accelerator. Twisting the accelerator. Twisting the accelerator. We must be getting close. Pizza! Yes. 
34th Street. I know a shortcut. We'll be there in no time. Look, I'm sorry, but tearing apart the fabric of the universe is not a dismissible offense. Now, please let me go. What the? Yeah, man, we went back in time. We'll never catch up with him. We'll see about that. <laughs> What's the house number? I don't know. But make an effort. The street is two miles long. Uh, I think I know which house it is. From the middle! Watterson, in accordance with Article 34 of the Fervidus Pizza Handbook! I fire thee! No! Please don't tell me you're the one who arranged this fight. Oh, come on. <laughs> <Panic. laughs> I know we haven't spoken in a long time, but I need your advice. Is it really wrong to create false evidence to frame some criminals who you know for sure are definitely, absolutely, without a single shadow of a doubt, guilty? Well, I don't care what you say, Dad! I'm doing it anyway! could have done it? Absolutely! Miss Simi, wrongly accusing the boys is one thing, but openly framing them is another. One more offense and you are fired. And you still owe these boys an apology. It's fine, it's fine. I'll apologize when fish start to walk. If this really is the kind of person you are, then we seriously need to talk about our relationship as well. <laughs> I saw that coming. I glued everything to the floor. <laughs> To be honest, Gumball, I'm not entirely comfortable committing a crime. Look, it's not a crime if you intend to get caught. Unless we actually do something bad, Simeon's gonna blow a fuse and lose her hairy boyfriend. Do you really want that on your conscience? Good, then give me a Lego. Now what am I supposed to do? Give yourself a Lego! Oh, of course. Don't. <laughs> this is going to be easier than I thought. Oh, why do I have to run every eight minutes of my life? Wait, in the jungle when a gorilla charges, you have to stare up to the ground. I'll deface his car. Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Principal Brown! Principal Brown! 
principal room. Ah! Dude, why is every single window broken except for Brown's? How about you do it yourself if you're such a hot shot? I caught them. I finally caught them. Which means I can do this. You're coming with me to the principal's office. With pleasure. Wait, we forgot to spray our names. What do you mean? <laughs> Duh, if we don't sign it, Principal Brown will think it's you again. Then you'll get fired and lose the love of your life. Now <laughs> where would that leave us? Are you trying to say that you only did this to save my reputation, my job, and my relationship? Of course, who do you take us for, some kind of criminals? Well, yes. <laughs> That's better. See? Happy baby! Hey, Anais. What's that you're drawing? Oh, very good. Is that Mommy? Uh. And Mr. Daddy? Uh. And where are we? Uh. Oh, we're the flowers? Uh-uh. Oh, right. Uh, let's play a game. You want to play a game? <laughs> okay. This one is called Hide and Seek. We close our eyes and count, and you hide. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> hey, where are you going? That was terrifying. Yeah, well, at least your soul was going upwards. <laughs> Enough of you. You're going right back to where you came from. Uh. Hey, what's that? No one loves you. Signed, Gumball and Darwin. Ugh, I would never write something like that. No one loves you. Well, yeah, that's more like it. What is going on here? <clears throat> Adopting Darwin really brightened everyone's lives? Well, don't you think it's time we gave that gift of happiness to another family? And by that gift of happiness, I mean Anais. And by another family, I mean a pack of scavenging hyenas. <sighs> Look, I understand. You're no longer the babies of the house, and that's a big adjustment. It was difficult for your father as well. Mm, but just because there's a new baby in the house doesn't mean I'll love you any less. So, you mean love multiplies? No, it divides. But I'll take the difference from your dad's portion and hope our marriage survives until you go to college. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? Now let's hug. <laughs> 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 Maybe Mrs. Mom is right. Anais isn't the problem. We are. Come on, let's play with her. Peek-a-boo! Hmm, let's try with funnier faces. Peek-a-boo! Ah, oh, come on. peek a Boom. Cereal. Mm, it looks okay. Why is she doing the face then? <gasps> There's enough sugar in here to clog your arteries in a couple of spoonfuls. <sighs> I can't take this anymore. I'm getting anxiety attacks. <sighs> oh, thank you. <gasps> And I never said that. <laughs> okay. Hi, nice to meet you. High five. 
Uh. Right. Well, Anais looks like we found someone as socially awkward as you. Uh, why don't you guys try and be friends? Go on. Come on, guys, make an effort. Make eye contact. Come on. Come on. I said eye contact with him! Eh, I don't have to do it. Now let's try a smile. Like this. Ah. Huh. Huh? Huh? More teeth. We need more teeth. Huh. Uh, good. You don't want to make friends with a straight jacket. Let's move on to making small talk. Demonstration! Oh, hi. Oh, I love your hair. What's your secret? Metal pattern hair loss with a sprinkle of stress. So, who do you know here? Oh, I'm Anais's brother. Really? Me too. He's so weird looking, right? Yeah, she's like a garden gnome who got her head transplanted from an Easter Island statue. <laughs> <laughs> we both like that fun at the detriment of others. We should totally be friends. All right, your turn. Uh... Come on, say something. Uh, I like hair. Uh, here. Have some. <laughs> oh, uh, you have some hair, too. <clears throat> oh, uh, here. I'm pretty sure that's not how you make friends. Put it back on. Okay, you weirdos, just say hi and shake hands. Hello. Hi. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. No, no, wait! Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> Stop it, Tickles! <laughs> it's hard to know how to feel about this. On the one hand, it's aww, but on the other hand, it's <laughs> It doesn't matter. I made a friend. Which means it's time to party! Elmore residents are reporting a series of break-ins across the neighborhood with... Hey, kids, you all right? Yeah, we're just playing with our imaginary friends. Well, he better leave me some cupcakes. Don't worry, he only eats hair. Well, he better leave me some of that, too. I've been saving his face in my stomach. Right here. I mean, right here. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. Shh, this looks important. Who is said to be over seven feet tall. Now just hold still. Good. Okay, and go. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, it's okay, no harm done. <laughs> <sighs> Inside and make another pinata. I'm sure the last one made some kids in the South Pole very happy. And now an update on the terrifying intruder who is breaking into Elmore Homes. Here is a police sketch based on eyewitness reports. Um, guys, I think it would be better if you played inside today. There's a. Sure, if we give them a minute, everything will calm down. No, let me in there! Let me in there! Sorry, ma'am, but this is a police matter. We're professionals. You can trust us. Okay, let me see. Where's the index police negotiation? Police. Is that one word or two? You know how some people say police. Mr. Dale will be surprised to see us. Yeah, we might interrupt his third breakfast. Hey! Uh, hi, guys. What's up? School was canceled. What's that on your lips? Oh, I, uh, I was just eating some, uh, what's that awful stuff that's like fruit that people decorate plates with? You mean a vegetable? Uh, yes. That's what stayed in my lips. A vergetool. What kind? A, re a red one? Okay, stop lying. We saw her. Who is she? Uh, what's the name of those people that you pay to make your skin cry until you're thin? A personal trainer? That's it. She was reminding me I have to go to that place where the bicycles go nowhere. You mean the gym? Yes, the gym. And I'm late. Okay, bye. I don't think he's going to the gym. Because the only gym he goes to is gym the cashier at the donut store? No, I mean, yes. But also because that gym bag he grabbed was a woman's purse. Ooh, I'm going to the gym. Liar! He's buying perfume for that woman. Maybe it's just for him. Yeah, sure, to hide the scent of his shame! Shame! Mm. shame. Uh, that was close. He nearly he saw, saw a... Huh? I guess 4K is how far you have to stand away from the camera so you don't look like a photo from a dermatology textbook. <gasps> 
Where did he go? We've been waiting so long, Angela's clothes are back in fashion. Better late than ugly, Maria. A girl needs to make some effort for her man. Samantha, darling, the last time you were a girl, men still had gills. So, when do we get to meet this elusive boyfriend of yours? Oh, he's not elusive, Angela. He just doesn't like to answer questions straightforwardly and prefers changing the subject to avoid them. Samantha... Are you nervous because we might judge your new boyfriend? No, Violet. She's worried about how mimes place their orders at the drive-thru. Ah, you younger women are so demanding. So what if Samantha's boyfriend isn't around that much? As long as a man has a pulse and a smile, who cares? I'd be so happy to get a man with either of those things. And at my age, I don't care which. Do you think he might have a friend for me? Yes, Violet, the Easter Bunny. Now, you listen here. My man does exist. As a matter of fact, I'm meeting him in the park later. <gasps> what, what the what? Ah, this is taking forever. I've not got a lot of time. Skin and regrets, yes, but time, no. Do you think maybe he's running a little late? No, Violet. He arrived on time. He just set our watches early for a prank. <laughs> hmm. Oh, there he is. Hello, sugar. <gasps> hey, honey. How's your day been? <gasps> oh, it makes my heart skip a beat to know that love can still blossom at our age. Wait, that's two beats. Three! Somebody do something! Oh, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dad always said Mom was out of his league, but I never thought he'd want to get back down into his own league. What's that? The bombshell that just got dropped on us. Huh. Always thought that was a metaphor. Uh, hello? I think this thing is broken. Uh, 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 hey! Stop! Help! Uh, 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 somebody! Do something! Help! Uh, uh, uh. Okay, you win this one. Next up, Joe's mom in the reflex challenge. Ugh. I think you should give her a warning. This feels kind of unfair. Ugh. Heads up! Okay, what you probably want to try is shouting before you throw the can. Good idea! Heads up! Dude, you should have called from where the can is coming. Let's just give her a point for surviving this. Next up, Tobias's mom. Strength. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's one to me. What? Where'd you think I got my muscles from? Go on, kiss it. <sighs> okay, I'll kiss you. All right, Mom, they've gone now. You can put it down. <laughs> ah, cheating. Round four, agility! Rising up like a queen of the empire. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. Leave the rest in a mess by the wayside. She's never gonna be pushed around. Some kind of mystery. She's the 
Mrs. Wilson's up first. Can she stomach a spoonful? Oh, and it's a refusal. What the? <sighs> and Mrs. Wilson wins. Wait a minute. Did you just wink at your mom, Tobias? No. What? Did you just cheat and swap the hot sauce with ketchup? No. Have you guys seriously been cheating all this time? No. Do you still think it's necessary to deny it? No. Oh, hot sauce. Mm. Yes! Santa Slay! Ha <laughs> I'm totally gonna save Christmas. <gasps> Go! Uh, get here! Activate! <laughs> so, you wanna come in for a cookie? Oh, no. I've been enough of a burden and a disappointment. I'll be on my way now. <laughs> Thank you for believing I was someone special. Uh, for a moment there, I almost thought that I could be Santa. Oh! Ah! Stop! Please! Deactivate! Dad? Ho, 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 ho! Santa! <laughs> right. How long have I been out? Is it still Christmas Eve? Yeah, but... Lord, then it's not too late. All I need is... Oh, wait, I'm okay. How do you land this thing? First, you, first you need to fasten your seatbelt. What the? How can I be better than Santa? Ask the magic sack for some walkie-talkies, and I'll tell you how to land! I want some walkie-talkies! Oh, man, it's really well-wrapped! Ask it for scissors! I want some scissors! Are you kidding me? Give me that, son! I'll show you how a real man opens his present! Ow! Good job, chaps! Now, in front of you, there should be an altimeter, a gyroscope, and an anemometer! Okay, what are they for? I don't know. I never use them myself. But at least you're facing the right way! Now, just fly with your guts. What can you see? Something about your reindeer's butt! Right. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Oh, no! ah! We can't do that! Your sleigh will crash! What about Christmas? Your lives are more important than Christmas! Just jump! Request denied, sir! We're saving Christmas! Over! Oh, dear. I love you, Dad! I love you, son! Sounds like they're coming in too hot. Follow me! They're not gonna make it! We're gonna crash! Not on Christmas, son! You have to believe! I can't see anything! Don't worry, guys! They're gonna crash! Yes! No! It's okay! They're Christmas lights! <laughs> <laughs> Nicole Watterson, I've been looking for you. Santa? I've been meaning to talk to you about these. My letters? Every single one. You send them to the South Pole. I live in the North Pole. I was just checking I had your address right when you uh, uh, ran me over. I'm so sorry! Oh, that's okay, Richard. After that landing, you're on the nice list forever. Awesome! Because you owe me $800 for the hospital bill. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We are Elmore Junior High. Six, seven, Woo eight, nine, ten. That's 
my girl! And start again. Right next to my heart, baby. Dude, what are you doing? What's the problem? Can't the guy celebrate when his cheerleader girlfriend lands an amazing flip on a beautiful sunny day? Okay, I don't know what kind of reality you're living in, but first of all, this isn't a sunny day. Secondly, that move went wrong, and you cheer. Oh, Penny, are you okay? Ugh, I face planted so hard I've got grass on my tonsils. Well, someone found it entertaining! And finally, she's not your girlfriend. What? Well, then how come she blew me this kiss? That's ketchup. You just smeared it all over yourself. What the? What's going on? What's going on is you've dragged me here to eat my lunch in the rain so you can gawk at Penny like you do every day, even though you guys aren't even boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, yeah? Well, you look like a swollen traffic cone. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm not saying it won't happen, but right now, you've got some competition. Come on now. Let's get you back inside. Who? Leslie? <laughs> no, they're just friends. Oh, Leslie. What would I do without you? And that's how it starts. Soon, he'll be our boyfriend, and you'll be history. No, it's not like that. He's a nice guy. No, he's not. And I'm going to put an end to this right now. <laughs> going on. They're just eating lunch and chatting. What do you think they're saying? So how do you like my stupid pink petals and my fat yellow face? Oh, I'm so pleased you liked it. I use it to steal girls from people. Who are you talking about? Gumball's jealous of Leslie. <laughs> Leslie? Why? Because he's trying to steal my girl! You know, you should seriously consider becoming a carnivore. Why? Because before it ends up on your plate, this is what they do to vegetables! Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not sure bologna's such a good option, though. At least I'm not eating my own kind. You do realize that as a peanut, you are part of uh -huh. the vegetable family. And you know some of these carrots are grown in such appalling yeah. conditions. They're not, they're all right. Mm -hmm. They're washed in cold water. Cold water. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Curse this feeble body. You should work out more. Gumbo, what is yeah. wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Hanging out with this loser instead of me. Come on, Leslie. Let's get out of here. I don't get... Betty, I'm so sorry. No, I'm not. Shut up. You're pathetic. You're pathetic, you insecure weirdo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to take care of this myself. Wow. I know. I've never seen him like this before. And the case is solved. Commissioner Brown, arrest this man. What are you talking about? The case of the stolen trophy, which I have just found in his conveniently open locker. Principal Brown, I think it's pretty obvious what's happened here. He did it. <laughs> uh, um, see you later. Huh? What? What's going on? Uh, what's going on is that we're about to open your locker and find a crowbar. Uh, okay? Dude, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? What have you made me do now? A manifesto on how I will gain the power I need to purge Elmore Junior High of its greatest problem? What? Is this for real? You better read it. To become school president, I might need to work a little on my appearance. The more, the more serious, serious the leader looks, the more seriously he will be taken. The next step is to alter my voice. Lowering it to give it a little more gravitas. Maybe not that low. And then just a hint of an accent for approachability. <laughs> then I'll need to develop my strategic mind. A leader must be thinking at least two steps ahead. Checkmate. You see, people are a lot like pawns in a chess game, and you need to know how to influence them. Hey, you're right. It's a great idea. You should apply. What? Little old me? But I'm just a simple country boy from the sticks. Now, what would I know about them, their politics? Nah, you'd make a great school president. The best way to achieve your goals is to make people think it was their idea. 
Uh, who are you talking to? That is not something you need to worry about. Okay. Well, all I was saying is that you would make a great school president, Alan. Ooh, that's a good idea. It is not my idea. So all I'm saying is that Alan would make a great school president. <laughs> you see, people just love to take credit for other people's ideas. Alan would make a great school president. Alan would make a great school president. Alan would make a great school president. Hmm. Surely, once you're done shaking it, it should be called a milk shook. But sadly, not every pawn on the chessboard can be used. The next step is to motivate people to react. Nothing brings about change more quickly than a crisis. <gasps> Great tax. Your grades will be taxed to provide better grades for the less academically gifted. What the what? Dude, you would totally benefit from that system. Tax is like shared food at a picnic. I'm not bringing the ham if everyone else is bringing the salad. No, you're more likely to bring the wasps. I am not gonna stand for it! So you've got a legal and plausible alternative? Mm, nah, I'm just gonna... Riot! Oh, this is terrible! I'm unhappy with something, but I don't know what it is, so I'm just gonna smash everything up! Their argument is sound, though. But we weren't even gonna tax their grades! Oh, yeah. Counter-riot! <laughs> You do realize we're just reading his journal and none of this is real. Yeah, but this is exactly how it would happen if it was happening. Okay, the next step is to stand as a candidate myself and offer a solution. The people have awoken. We must all stand together. Let me be your voice and tell those in charge that we have had enough. <laughs> Let us think for one moment and realize it is time for change. We must march forward, look to the future, and see that the time for celebration is now. And if I don't deliver that for you, you may strike me down. Vote for me. The next step is a subtle advertising campaign that will help me stand out from my competitors. Don't let Elmore slip up. Boycott Banana Joe? What the? Don't let the evil take root? Protect the youth? What the? Once he has finished eating everything in the cafeteria, who will be next? I think we need to do something drastic. Smells like a dumpster. It's locked. Hmm. Play me. What kind of musical instrument is this? It's a video camera. Good evening, gentlemen. This feud started with the trash can, and that's where it's going to end. In front of you is a cake. Ooh. Ow. Inside the cake is a key. By sharing the cake, you'll find the key and learn that sharing is the key to getting out of there. <laughs> you have 15 minutes before the police arrive. I'm pretty sure it'll be more than 15 minutes before we see that key again. You jelly belly fool, what were you thinking? If you'd have shared that cake, we'd be out of here by now. If you'd have shared that trash can, we wouldn't have been here in the first place. Don't you think they should have figured it out by now? I'll go and check. Oh, man. That was the worst idea you've ever had. Oh, come on, it was pretty good. The mysterious riddle, the positive message, the fact they got to eat a cake. Mr. Small, watch out! Don't worry, I'll use my rollerblading skills to avoid it. We're never gonna catch them! Uh, I've got an idea, but it's really uncool. Come on! Faster! 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 Why are you always trying to motivate me with cruelty when you know I respond better to emotional rewards? Sorry, man. Uh, that's better! Ah! Okay! Don't move! Okay. Okay, I got this. Ah! Ah! Okay, maybe a little closer this time. Uh, 
What do we do now? I don't know. Jam the wheel or something. Ah! No! Please! I'm too old! I can't walk without my cane! <laughs> oh, hello. Ah! Hold on, guys! I'm going to get you out of there! They're still okay. No! <laughs> oh wait, these are old dad's nacho cheese wrappers. This is our trash can. We've been chasing the wrong one. Which means they're still in Mr. Robinson's trash can at home. There's still time to get them back in the house before the cops come. I agree. Wearing a tie every day despite neither of us having a job is perfectly appropriate. It gives you a sense of purpose when you have absolutely nothing to do. You know, Watterson, maybe you and I aren't so different after all. And all it took was my children locking us in a dumpster to realize it. We should have just done this in the first place. Ah, boys, finally! Ah, the worst part about this job is you give people a second chance and you still end up having to taste them. Wait! That was all his fault! Don't listen to him, officer! He's nothing but a good for nothing! Because if you don't, then that happens! Is this boring? What's this? You think this is boring? Call me boring now! Is this boring? Close the window, Margaret. Freeze! Police! Well, um, I think I'll... Uh... Call it a day. I'm not boring! What did he say? Gumbo, what do we do? We have to stop him. I got it. We'll just fly after him using one of your witch brooms. That's a normal broomstick. I'm a cleaning lady. Oh. The witchy ones are over there. I knew it.
Supposed to be studying. <sighs> Dude, stop distracting me. All right, come on, let's get some work done. <laughs> <laughs> Absorbing any of the knowledge. Volcano Studiamus Quando Tuvi Mostiapo. Be still, you cur. Imbibe that parchment swiftly. Anon, we face our trial. Bye, my bye. Elizabethan poetry. Fie and fie again. We've been chewing the wrong books. Uh, we're gonna flunk the test. We'll get caught in a downward spiral of failure. We'll get held back a year, and before you know it, we'll be the only kids in seventh grade with beards. <laughs> Unless. What? We could. What? You know, we could. You know, we could. <laughs> what? You mean... Cheating! Did you really think you could get away with this? To be honest, yeah, I thought we could. I have no idea what went wrong. Well, maybe you'll figure it out during spring break, which you're spending in detention. I'm putting you in the long detention block. So from now on, you don't eat, you don't go to the bathroom, you don't speak, you don't even blink unless I say so. Do you understand? What? Can I blink, please? No. Silence, you animals! These are the new inmates. Make sure they feel welcome. Can I blink now? You're not gonna last two minutes in here, little fish. Looked like they were raised by hyenas in a post-apocalyptic future. <laughs> Especially the cupcake. She looks like she was made out of rotten eggs and foot fungus. I'm a boy, dork bag. Ugh, even her voice is gross. But hang on, how come she can hear our secret thoughts? Cause you're talking out loud, homie. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, oh man. Even my bruises have bruises. Don't worry, buddy. I've got just what you need. A kiss to make it better. No, we need to look older if we want the tourists to respect us. Let's get some tattoos, homeboy. What do you think? I don't know. I think we look a bit too old for young offenders. Maybe. Perfect. What are you looking at, punk? Stop! His eyes are touching each other! Please, let him go! No! Oh, thanks, man. I owe you one. You owe me more than that if you want my protection, Davy. What's a Davy? Detention slang for dumb baby. Oh, I see. Who protect us from? He means who are you going to protect us from? Me! Why does that kid want us to steal the school plans anyway? That's the least of our worries. The guy's a walking time bomb. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Here, found it. Now let's get out of... What? Dude, <laughs> you have to see this. assistance in helping you to your vehicle? So, what does your car look like? It's made of metal. <laughs> right, I thought it would be. Okay, what else? It has a steering wheel. <laughs> okay. It's quite long. Good, good, that's useful. Could you be more precise? It smells like damp laundry and despair. Confusing. Oh, it's got a lady on the side selling shampoo, and it's usually parked right there. It's the bus, isn't it? Sure is! And I suckered you into giving me a lift! Ha! <laughs>
Enough with the parking lot. Let's just find a space. Any space. Friends, we have achieved total parking. One thing before you do. Huh, this is going to be sad. We're listening, buddy. Initiating self defense protocol. Richard, how are the boys doing? Oh, I'm playing. Richard, check on them, please. Hey, boys, you all right? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, they're all right. Ah! Oh! <sighs> okay, listen, you go out and distract them. I'll sneak up and reboot them. No problem. Hey, boy! Ah! Ha-ha! How do you like that, you psychotic satellite dish?
Is that all you got? There can be only one. Uh, I really wish that something that once seemed insignificant would come out and help me right now. Hold on! I'll save you! Okay, something else insignificant. It's too late for that. <gasps> Two of a kind. Think of the things we can do together, Gumball. Please, please don't reboot me. Hmm. Let me think about it. No! Is he alright? Define alright. Whew! You know what? I think it's better for everyone if you stay you and I stay me. Affirmative. This is even longer than last time. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. Come on, dude, let's watch TV. What was that? Nothing. And here we are in the natural habitat of the Mubis Gelatinous, spending today, as he does every day, sheltering himself from responsibility. But what's this? It seems a nearby Kickbuttus Hystericus is returning from a successful hunt. The Mubis will be keen to scavenge. It is essential he evades discovery. He knows that despite his size, he's no match for the physical prowess of the elegant kick butters. He's not here for the small pickings. He knows that it may be up to an hour before he's allowed to eat again. His timing must be perfect. So he waits. And he strikes. <laughs> the kick butters will give chase. Come here, Maggie. Richard. Things are looking bad for the movies. However, nature gave him a silent but deadly defense mechanism that triggers itself when he feels threatened. Oh, no, Richard! The Mubis seizes his chance and retreats to his den. The kick butters defends her territory, but in doing so, commits another mistake. In this ruthless ecosystem, an unguarded kill is quickly claimed by the vultures. Okay, prepare yourself. 3D without glasses. What I want you to do is just focus on my eyes until your vision adjusts. Now, it takes a little time, and you might need to get a little closer to the screen. The best distance is normally about three inches. Now keep watching until the 3D effect kicks in. Keep looking. Almost there. Almost. There we go. <laughs> Why are we hiding? Shh, just look at him. What is he doing? Looks like he's got worms. A. What the what? Wait up, I'm gonna get some too. You may now start your tests. Zoom in, zoom in. I need to see how he does this. B A. Dude, he's using cheat codes in real life. I need to learn that code, man. Look, he's doing it again! B. A. Alright, dude, film this! Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B. A. What is this cheat for? It's for. <laughs> Call it ambulance! Hi, I'm Tobias Wilson, and a lot of people ask me, can you teach me to be as cool as you? And I say, no, you'll never be as cool as me. But I can teach you to be cooler than you. And just maybe, you'll be a hit with the ladies like me. What up, sunshine? Booyah! If you want to get dates, you got to pump weights. Because girls can't deny a guy who's this fly. So let's get some muscles and score some girls from, like, Brussels or something. Let's do this. If there's one thing girls love, it's cash. So you gotta make it rain. That's right. 
Now I've got the look and the fliff. All I need is the lady. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, beautiful. You have a quarter? Because I told my mom I'd call her when I fell in love. Uh, no, I'm sorry I don't, but you can use my cell. Mm. Welcome to Joyful Burger. Can I take your order? <laughs> yes, I'd like a secret <laughs> burger, please. Uh, could you repeat your order, sir? Uh, yes, I would like the secret <laughs> burger, please. Uh, excuse me? Listen, little man, I'm the customer here, and I don't want to have to repeat my order. I'm sorry, sir, but that's not an intercom. Can I take your order, please? One... <laughs> Burger. Uh, for real? Was I not clear enough? Uh, have it your way, sir. <laughs> he meant the secret burger. I see. And what is the name of the aforementioned secret burger? Ah, I got it. It's called the Bane Thickener, the Deep Fried Thrombosis, the Meet Your Maker, the Heartbreaker, the Bundertaker, the Commander in Beef, the Bell Buster. No? More mysterious, maybe. The Aluma Patty, the Area Beef D1, the Builder Burger. Come on, man, you know what we're talking about. Maybe, but I can't serve you something you don't even know the name of. There's only so many names it could be. We just need to figure out which one. <laughs> you mean figure out sand which one. Dude, stop with the puns. I can't. I've fallen down the pun hole. I've gone so deep I'm underground. What a pun fortunate turn of events. I've pundermined any respect you had for me. I don't understand why I... Ow! Dude, I know it was annoying, but it didn't warrant a punch. Ow! It wasn't even a pun. That's just what that word is. So, the plan is, you guys get hired at Joyful Burger. Why don't you get hired? I can't. Why? Uh, because of my medical condition. Really? Well, I get this allergic reaction to effort. The symptoms are dangling arms, constant eye rolls, and a breathing problem that makes me sigh a lot. <sighs> Being lazy is not a disease, Dad. No, it's true, I really am. Oh, I can't be bothered to finish that sentence. I'll give you 20 bucks if you do it. Wow, you've reached a whole new level of laziness. You've invented the reverse job. But, okay, so what? We get hired and then we look for the name of the secret burger? They won't just tell anyone. They'll need to trust you. So first, you have to be the best employees ever. I don't know what that secret ingredient is, but the customers just love your burgers. The secret ingredient is love. <laughs> Great job! The board wants you two as managers. <laughs> There's only one problem. You need to have our labor costs. Ah! The board wants you as senior members. There's only one problem. You need to double production. Ah! Great job. The board wants you as our new CEOs. There's only one problem. You still have hearts. And in other news, business moguls Gumball and Darwin Watterson have sold their joyful burger shares for a whopping $4.6 billion. Our reporter has an exclusive interview from their lavish new mansion. So, how do you feel about your success? It's cool. I mean, I like the big house, but it's kind of hard to communicate with each other. Gumball, can you pass me the soft please? please? See, I asked him that last week. Oh, one moment. point of cleaning under the bed. It's like cleaning a dumpster. It's designed to be filthy. Because this room smells like dog burp. Oh, what is this? Oh, well, that's a glass of milk. <laughs> cheese. That, that's a glass of cheese. <laughs> stone. That's a glass of stone. Are you kidding me? That milk had to be at least 10 years old. Well, at least there's nothing alive under there. <laughs> left to live a happier life on a farm with other fishes. <laughs> you did. Uh, you did. Uh, hey! Uh, 
Look what I found! The game you made! Hang on, I'm not three anymore. You're not gonna distract me with... What the what? Dodge or dare. It's calling us. No! We swore we'd never play that game again! Just ignore the calls. to destroy that game. It's gone! Wait! Don't throw the dice! You don't know what you're doing! Yeah, because you didn't write any instructions. And what you did write is spelt wrong. Dodds or dar? Sounds like an alien choosing a baby name. Let's just pack it away. No, you can't stop! Once you start Dodger Dare! to be finished. Okay, so the rules are pretty simple. You roll the dice, then take a dare card. If you do the dare, then you move forward that many spaces. If you don't, then you have to take a dodge card and move half the spaces. Okay, and how do you win? You don't win, you survive. Okay, but how do you actually win? Oh, you have to roll an exact number to land on the last square. Dad, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever's got to do this one. Uh, hey, officer, please! I need to report a theft! Yes, finally! What did the thief look like? Well, he was wearing a monocle. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Yes, he had a big furry mustache. Uh-huh, big furry mustache. Okay, any other distinguishing features? Yes, he was dressed as a yodeler. Aren't you gonna write that down? Just testing something. <laughs> and what did that man steal? A kiss. <laughs> you actually did it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's how it always starts, with the laughing and the dares, and then later, the horror and here I go. Hmm. Order a prank pizza. Uh-huh. And what's the address? Uh, 420 Grove Street. Oh, and could you add some turkey gizzards? As well as the ice cream, pig's foot, and oysters? Yes, it's an old family recipe invented by my grandfather, old Joe Windy Pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could be there to see that pizza arrive. Okay, 420 Grove Street. Here we go. Pizza guy! What are you talking about? I sell pizzas. Why would I buy one? Well, someone's gotta pay for this. I'm not paying for something I didn't order. What am I supposed to do with this now? Give it to me, I'll show you! <laughs> she thinks she's so dumb. Well, I'll show her who's the dumbest in the whole town. Then Dad will be mine again! <laughs> To race. As you can see, I gathered the stupidest people in town. Word. Everyone has to wear a blindfold and run as fast as they can. The person who gets the furthest is officially the dumbest. Dad, you'll be the referee. Okay, guys, I want a good, clean race. Anyone opening their eyes is disqualified. On your mark, get set, wait for it, go! <sighs> I can't resist the call of dumbness. <laughs> you might have won, Dad, sis, but I'm not gonna let you win this. What do you mean, one, Dad? <laughs> I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm not winning. Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I'm a banana split. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? Who's the dumbest? I'm okay. 
Oh, Karen, this is just the perfect day. <laughs> I was wondering. Yes, Lawrence? Will you marry me? This is happening so fast. I'm, oh, I'm not saying no. Definitely not saying no. <sighs> but I need to think about this. <gasps> You're taking my bush at home, and I'm taking it back. Are you kidding, Dumbo? I just wanted to be dumb for a day. No one could be dumber than you. <sighs> wow. That's a really nice thing to say. I kind of feel awkward now. Should we just hug? Oh, sh yeah, okay. Ah! Whoa! That was close. I think we got dumped ourselves. Let's go home. Ow! 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 Huh? Oh, the eyes! I blew it! Hello, I'm Dr. Butt, and I'm going to take your temperature. Dad, I can't play Butt Puppet right now. <sighs> I was only trying to help. Ugh, this is all your fault, Richard. Well, as referee, I took every precaution I could. And six kids ended up in the hospital. Four Rocky and me are grown-ups. Word. And you, Gumball Watterson, that was a very dumb thing to do. Aw, thanks. <sighs> and as for you, young lady, I expected more. I know, Mom. I don't think I want to be dumb anymore. Because it hurts so bad! And all this because you guys wanted to be my favorite, when we all know, in fact, that Darwin is my favorite. Fish! My favorite fish! Wait a minute. Where, Where is, is Darwin? Darwin? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Did I win yet? Harry! Hey! You know, there are easier ways to hurt your eyes. You could pour salt in them while you stare at the sun, for example. I'm sorry, Carrie. It's just I promised Anna Yeast we'd do something she wanted today. We didn't realize how unbearable it'd be. And we haven't even watched it yet. Come on, we're already late. <laughs> oh, man, we're gonna get the face when we get home. What, this one? No, that's Silent Fury. What we're gonna get is I Know You Let Me Down. Oh. That's it, but don't forget the slow head shake. I can handle that, as long as we don't get the you mean nothing to me back turn. Don't worry. As long as nothing gets in our way, we'll be fine. <laughs> what? Uh, don't you think you should help that guy? You clearly took the cover off. So? You guys are way closer. That means it's your problem. <laughs> Can I get a little help here? Listen, man, we'd love to help, but we're kind of in a hurry. Well, I'm kind of in a manhole. Which you wouldn't be stuck in if you weren't quite so... What, fat? No, what I meant was... Voluptuous, flesh rich, horizontally tall... Distracted! I was going to say distracted. I think you're a beautiful man. Still, what kind of bozo runs around not looking where he's going, blindly texting on his phone? I wasn't texting. I was updating my status so everyone knows I'm jogging. Why? To get those little thumbs up on Elmo Plus. All right, let's get you out of here, you attention hog. Ah! Hey! You're doing the face, aren't you? Why are you late? <laughs> well, funny story, uh, we are helping a guy out of a manhole, and we... No need to lie. It's obvious you guys don't want to watch the movie with me. Oh, no, that's not true. I can't wait to watch some princess trying to tame a stupid pony just to impress some foppish prince from Luxembourg! Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. It's just my brain refuses to let me lie about this film. Just hurry up, okay? Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Ah! There, whose problem is it now? Dude, we need to get home. She's already hit a force five on the guilt trip scale. Gumbo, Darwin! What's up, guys? Hey! Rich? Did you just call me Rich like it was a question? Ha! Did I say Rich? I'm, I'm sorry, dude. I'm into your name. Which is? <laughs> <laughs> Which is? <sighs> Rob! My name is Rob! Rob! Of course, man!
man, I'm sorry. Hey, listen, we're in a massive hurry, but we should totally hang out soon. I'll, I'll call you, bro. You don't have my number. You don't remember me at all, do you? And this, this is just some hollow promise. Dude, it's not that. We've just been distracted because uh, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. See that hole? Darwin! I can't believe you just did that! Did what? Uh, uh, I don't remember. <sighs> Dad, am I boring? Of course not, sweetie pie. Then why don't Gumball and Darwin want to hang out with me? Uh, uh, think, Richard, think. Your little girl is feeling insecure. This is a real parenting situation. What you say now could affect her for the rest of her life. So say the right thing. Say the right thing. The right thing! What? Speak to your mother! I... I gotta stop, man. I can't keep running like that. Come on, you can do it. It's all in the mind. You don't understand. My legs have given up. I even have a cramp in my bones. Your legs haven't given up. You have! You think? You should try walking in my shoes for once. Is that a challenge? How? Well, I was feeding a squirrel some nuts. <laughs> to see where he hides all his nuts. Okay. And it worked a little too well. Okay, don't move. <laughs> okay, I've got to run now. Why? To compete. Why? Because I have to fight. Why? Because I have to be the best. Why? So people will like me? But lots of people already like you. Really? Like who? <gasps> it's two o'clock already. I'm too late. <sighs> I've got to go home empty-handed. Not quite empty-handed. You have a nut. Huh? Half a nut. <laughs> what would you do if you were me? If I had done everything you've done, sleep till I'm 40. <laughs> I mean, what should I do with my life? Hmm. Maybe start living it?
Actually, you know what? I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> They'll fight! Oh no, little man. This is a food war! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how am I gonna do this? Just use your head, kid. Okay. What are you doing? Using my head. Here, use this. Thank you. Why did you do that? To pay for the damage to the door. No, it was to open the door. It's got my name and address on it. Oh, cool. Then they'll be able to return it. Come here. We gotta get it back. On the count of three, I'll lift it up and you drop and roll. One, two, three. No, you're supposed to go in and get the... My friend has hurt his foot and he needs medical assistance. Who is that? 911. Are you crazy? Don't worry. I'm not gonna be all like, oh yeah, my friend Julius Oppenheimer Jr. who lives on Park Row broke his foot while trying to trespass at the public pool. What? I mean, this is an anonymous call! You just gave them my name and address! Ah, anonymously. And they can trace the call! Not anymore. My phone! No! Oh, just help me get my foot out. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. Ah, they're coming. You gotta help me. Oh no, they're gonna see us. Quick, let's kiss to hide our faces. It always works in spy movies. No, 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 no! Sorry. I'm fine. And given the choice, I take this option again. No, 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 I can't, I can't walk much further. I'm gonna need some wheels. Go take someone's bike or something. Wait, that sounds like another bad thing. Well, if you do this one bad thing now, we can do two good things later to make up for it. You mean like how the Romans invaded half of the world but then invented sandals and ice cream? I don't think the Romans invented ice cream. Okay, just sandals then. There's two of them. Ah, just get on with it. Yes, sorry. I commandeered this vehicle. Ah! Dude, that was my girlfriend! <gasps> Quick, let's kiss before she sees you. <laughs> Julius, a text would have been enough. No, 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 wait, <laughs> Demi, I can explain. <laughs> what have you done? I've lost my girlfriend, my crew, the police are after me. They've got my address. My parents will be mad at me. You've ruined me. Who would have thought my life could have been destroyed by a dumb sucker who lives in a world of kittens and rainbows? Julius, stop. You're not making sense. In a world of kittens and rainbows, what would the kittens eat? Just go. N now? Immediately. No! I'm gonna fix this. Wait for me at the bus stop in half an hour. Really? How? Well, first, I spoke to your friends and they all agreed that you have to stick together after I told the bikers your crew declared war on them. What? Wait, what? The bikers? Yeah, and then I patched things up with your girlfriend. You're getting married on Saturday. Oh, I also fixed the situation with the police. Oh, let me guess, by making my life worse? No, by making your father's life worse. I told them that it was Julius Oppenheimer Sr. who tried to break into the pool. <laughs> Where the coupons expired? What? My dad's been arrested? My mom's gonna go nuts when she finds out. <laughs> she won't. She's being deported. But why? I changed her passport to one from Switzenbergenstein. That's not even a country! Which is why they're gonna dump her in uncharted waters right about now. Thank you for flying with us. <laughs> You've made everything worse. What? It was a joke. <laughs> what? Look, sir! Look, hell! Look, road! Look, ball! Look, door! Look, cloud! Look, bird! You're not looking! Bird! 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 It's a... Red! Oh. Red! 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 Green! Grab the emergency hammer. I'm not breaking a window. No, I need you to knock me out. How about you just ask Sussy to come down a little? <laughs> I can't. What the? You're embarrassed, aren't you? Just use the hammer. <laughs> Darwin Watterson, the fish who grew legs at the expense of his gut. Shut up! Hey, Darwin! Which noise do you prefer? <laughs> or? <laughs> 
Excuse me, Sussy, but can you be a little bit quieter, please? Certainly, young Gumball. I'd be more than happy to oblige. Thank you. What was that? That was me taking my hat off to you. Hats. I still don't understand how you can be so direct with people. Oh, it's really hard. You have to think the words and then move your lips at the same time so it makes the right sound. Teach me. What? Uh, uh. Yeah, it's what I thought. argument I just won only went on in my head, didn't it? Well, nothing happened in reality, so I'm gonna have to say yes. What's that now? That's me beating myself for being such a doormat. If you want me to teach you how to be direct, I can. But you have to promise to do exactly as I say. No questions asked. I promise. I want you to walk like a dog with an itchy butt. I shouldn't have promised. Hi, guys. I think I actually understand the purpose of this exercise. You're ridding me of my inhibitions by destroying the little dignity I had. No, dude. <laughs> I was just messing with you. <laughs> what? Was it really <laughs> necessary to take me over the sandbox? I'm sorry. Uh, just tell me who you want to be direct with, and I'll show you how it's done. Calm down, honey. You're being overgrammatic. This guy's too shellfish, and he's being like a total control Greek. Do you mind? I was in the middle of a condensation. Wow, I see what you mean now. Come on, tell him how annoying he is. <sighs> okay. You know, Leslie, when you try to sound intelligent sometimes, you just... You just... Come on, man, speak your mind! You're so bottled up, you're choking on your own frustration! <laughs> Say what you think! When you try and sound smart and mix up your words, you sound like a fool. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you for telling me. I'll be forever graceful for your honesty. It, it's grateful. Oh, yes, I'll be forever grapefruit for your honesty. <laughs> what? Tobias just posted a photo. I'll send it over. Oh, for goodness sake! This is another thing that bugs me. He's always pulling that stupid pose. It's so annoying. Well, it's not really that annoying. It's just photos, buddy. It's not though, is it? It's all the time. Dude, FYI, you look thunderlying when you pull that pose. What does it even mean? It's chunking the deuce, man. And what does that mean? You don't understand. For my whole walking life, I've had to keep my mouth shut, having to deal with everyone's annoying little habits. But now, I can say what I like. Freeze, you hoodlums! What for? Jaywalking. Oh, give us a break, man. We just wanted an ice cream. I don't care. You're getting a ticket. Oh, man, really? I'm sorry, but that's law, kid. Crime is a slippery slope. If I turn a blind eye on the smallest misdemeanor, before you know it, the whole society falls apart. Especially in this heat. Well, I understand you're a cop. I mean, it's obviously not your job to be cool. What do you mean, not cool? All kids think cops are cool. Not really. Yeah, we're more into privileged rap stars that pretend to be hardcore. That is ridiculous. Cops are cool. That's what I wanted to be when I was a kid. Okay, get in the car. I'll show you. Hold on. <coughs> what are you doing? We're just pretending to be handcuffed. Sorry, I just don't want anyone to think we're friends with you. I want my phone call! Do you mind pushing my hand down? There's no jail that can hold me! Just get in. Mother. Think it you the heat that drove those two poor urchins to crime? No, dear. It's public school. Dude, can you scratch my nose? <clears throat> You're not handcuffed, and he doesn't have a nose. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, so, what's so cool about being a cop? Well, I file a lot of reports, I write parking tickets, I stop for lunch, I give some people directions, I file some more reports, I write some parking tickets, I make a report on all the reports I filed. Sorry, you were so boring, and we thought the car was moving, and, uh, didn't expect to have to explain it. Uh, uh please continue. <sighs> Help me out here, guys. What do I have to do to prove to you that cops are cool? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see? It's not that hard to have a good time. All you have to do is... Ah, uh, shoot! They're coming back down! Let's bail! <laughs> oh, wait! You forgot to drive through the boxes! Oh, yeah! I always wanted to do that. <laughs> 
So what other cool stuff can you do? I can commandeer any vehicle I want. Any vehicle? Anything. I guess I can't complain. It is a spaceship. I can make it more interesting. How? Wishes. Wow, I forgot you guys had those. What else can you do with them? Wow. Finest risking their lives to protect our freedom. That's the sound of law enforcement! That's, That's the sound of law enforcement! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I take it all back. Cops are cool! Yeah, that was really fun. Was? What do you mean, was? We're just getting started! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Dude, look at your car. What are we gonna do? Oh, that's not a problem. For a cop! Stop! I commandeer this vehicle! <laughs> oh. And that, sir, is exactly why you need to wear a seatbelt. Come on, guy. Get in the car. Uh, this doesn't feel right. In the name of the law, get in the car! <laughs> Help! Police! Ah, <laughs> uh, false alarm. Did I tell you about when my brown crayon ran out? Don't worry, though. This story has a happy ending. Does it involve the main character being slowly run over by a bus? No. I used felt to pets instead. True story. Which reminds me of another story. <laughs> and the thing is, it was my favorite pencil as well. <gasps> Feels like we've been walking down this corridor for half an hour now. It's like a, a superpower. She can distort time and space using only boredom. Nah, I just buffed the floor. <sighs> Somebody's got to man up and put an end to this. So they're like <gasps> pet rules. Well, I mean, I guess they're similar. Thank you. To All right, girl, listen up. Because uh, Darwin has something he wants to say to you. Wait, what? Tell her, dude. You know how you think your stories are. You know. Straight up awful. <gasps> I thought we were both chickening out. That was like headbutting a kitten. Uh, he meant awful, as in me. Fill us with awe. <laughs> I thought I was boring you for a second. <laughs> no, your stories are great. It's just maybe they could be um shorter, better, over. He, he means they just need a little editing. Come with us. <laughs> okay, so Gumball used this editing software to make your stories more uh, to the point. Uh, so yesterday, uh, uh, I, uh, <laughs> true story. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Your stories are perfect the way they are. Oh, good. I hope you would tell me if I was boring. <laughs> Bless you. And I woke up and I wasn't in my own bedroom, but then I remembered I was on vacation. My brain is full. Every time she says something, I have to forget something else to make room for it. If she says another word, I'm gonna forget my parents. Do you really want that on your conscience, whatever your name is? I'm sorry. I just don't have the heart to hurt her feelings. <gasps> Home time at last! I mean lunchtime. I hate you. It's not me, it's time. I hate you both. I guess I just Last night I had the craziest dream that my pajamas had pockets. And then I woke up and they did have pockets. I mean, maybe we should just try and tune our house. Okay. There was this explosion <gasps> of interest in my stamp collection. <gasps> and I did a backflip. <gasps> and then the pancakes were done. And then I saw a murder <gasps> of crows. There was a tsunami <gasps> of homework. End of the world. And I was like, it's not the end of the world if you run out of margarine. And so we went to the store and bought some. Hold on, dude. If we keep doing this to our brains, we might do some real damage. How many fingers am I holding on? Huh? You're going to have to look down. I can't move anything below the neck. 30 11. I'm glad we stopped before it's too late. And I was in the kitchen making toast, and my dad smelled the toast, and he ate it. 
true story. Did I tell you about my birthday party? I didn't have one. But I I'm sorry, dude, but she's got to go. I'm going to push her in front of Jamie. No, wait. What if we, you know, pass the ball? I don't care about the game. I'm talking about Molly. So am I. I, I just thought it was a good analogy on theme with the, you know, dodgeball and... It doesn't matter. What I meant was, hey guys, have you heard Molly's stories? Yes, and I'm afraid there is only one way to ensure we never have to hear another. Build the trust that you lost. On the plate to your right are the cupcakes. On the plate to your left is the bad food, like liver and stuff. What you need to do is trust the other person to feed you the good food. Sure, no problem. Mm. Dude, I thought you tricked me. Me too. I expected a mouthful of rat cake or something. I, I always knew, knew I, I could trust, trust you, buddy. buddy. But I, I thought, thought the, the left, left plate, plate was. was... <laughs> <sighs> and that was for flaking out on me at the supermarket. What? What'd you do? The cupcakes you just ingested released with parasitic eggs. All they needed to hatch was a moist and warm environment. Your stomach. <gasps> What's gonna happen to us? First, they'll eat their way into your stomach lining. What? Then they will crawl up your head and lay eggs in your eyeball. Ah! Get them out! I can see them already! There's only one way to lure them out. Uh, how long do we have to do this for? Until they dance their way out. Uh, there wasn't anything in the cupcakes, was there? Nope, but there's something on the internet now. G give me that phone! <laughs> give it here, Lee! You should take me to your buddies again. That's true, but you're still getting it! <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello, sweetie. I just wanted to know if your dad felt any better. Um, yeah, he's fine. Can you pass me on to him, please? Uh, yeah. One minute. <clears throat> Hello, Mrs. Mom. What's for dinner? Really? Yep. Where is he? Mom must be on her way right now. We're gonna get our butts kicked. Yeah, I would have thought the anesthetics would have made him a better driver. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Marvin! <gasps> what has that done? Ah, please help me up. I was trying to do sit-ups, but I'm too old. <sighs> Hey, what about me? Uh, yeah, you can do it if you believe in yourself. And don't forget to stretch when you finish. Uh. Well, looks like the anesthetics improved his parking, too. This is not funny. We need to find him right now before something terrible happens. <gasps> Look, Dad's pants! <laughs> you have to catch me if you want to hit me. <laughs> oh, little teasing bundle of fatness. <laughs> No, thank you. He's delicious just the way he is. Stop! It's not funny anymore. It's just weird. <laughs> Radio Elmore. Newsflash, we're receiving reports of a fat, pantless, pink, middle-aged man bunny causing disturbance in the city of Elmore. He's reported to have attacked and nibbled several bystanders. One extremely... Ex Come on. And now the weather, Diane. Did you see that? It was Mrs. Mom's car. Right, we've got to split up. Gumball, you sort out the house. Darwin, you try and delay Mom. I'll take care of Dad. Go! And no flaking out! What? to report her stolen yellow family wagon. I didn't do anything. You've got to believe me. We'll see about that, lady. Let's just see those papers first.
You're very lucky, Mr. Watterson. It appears your skull is so thick you were able to survive a half a ton of tiles and a satellite dish falling in your head. Is he going to be okay, Doctor? Apart from being living proof that we're doomed as a species, he's fine. I just need a signature from whoever's responsible for him. Oh, that would be me. I don't think so. That would be his mother. <laughs> Granny Jojo, what a pleasure. I wish I could say the same, but it seems I have no other choice but to move in and sort out your family, which you are clearly incapable of taking care of. Uh, Doctor, what's the cheapest object in this room? Probably that. <laughs> that was still worth about $300. So, Granny Jojo, why are you staying with us? Because someone has to look after your safety, kid. I think they're perfectly safe with me. Now, look left, then right before you cross that road, Gumball. No, you look right, then left. That way you see the nearest car first. But while you're looking left, something may be coming from the other direction. Look right again, sweetie. No, look left. Look right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Now run. It's better to cross the road as quickly as possible. No! You might trip and fall. Just walk. Oh, don't worry, Billy. It's a really good hospital. Ah! Dude, I think the board is supposed to jump as well. See? This is exactly the kind of thing I was worried about. How would you know? You're not even tall enough to look out the window. I don't need to. I know how dangerous the world is. Oh, come on. He's wearing all of the protective gear. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, you stupid... Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you're right. I'm a terrible mother. Follow me. Corner paddings, socket covers, steer guard. A good mother prevents the incident before it happens. The worst part is that it's working. I... I always thought I was a good mother. But you're not, are you? Maybe it's because of stress or something. Don't worry about it. But they're my family. They need me. They need me more. <gasps> Excuse me, sweetie. I forgot to ask your mom to buy some milk before she left for work. Do you mind running to the store to pick some up? Sure. Good boy. Now you be careful outside. <laughs> yeah, right. Who knows? I might get jumped by a garden gnome. In 25 yards, turn left. <laughs> to go to school so you can get a job but why do i need a job so you can earn money continue ahead but why do i need money to buy the stuff the tv makes us want but why do i need to buy stuff because if you didn't buy stuff everyone would be out of a job and no one would have any money wait so i have to work for the rest of my life to pay for stuff that i don't want just so everyone else can suffer the same horrible fate as me exactly <laughs> You just live your life without thinking, don't you? I believe you are underestimating me, son. Turn right. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Come on, surely there's more to life than that. Mm, nope. <sighs> I'm out of here. Enjoy your pathetic lives working nine to five. Hector, send me to freedom. <laughs> At me, but at least I'm not a mindless zombie going through life just doing what they tell me to. Who? You know, them. Who's them? You know, the man. What man? The man who tells you what to do. Who? My dad? No. Uh. The people who tell you what to watch on TV and stuff. What's a TV? It's a. Hmm. You have reached your destination. <laughs> On the menu today, poulet à la deep fried, accompanied by the fries of the French. Mmm, délicieux. What are the fries of the French? Are you a potato? As sure as the world is flat. Who's that bumpkin? This is Idaho, Gumball's friend from the country. He's going to be staying with us this weekend. Where's your chair? Gumball threw it away. We're getting rid of our possessions to lead a simpler, better life. Ah! What's going on here? It's Idaho. He's gonna show us the way. The way to what? The way to ultimate happiness. Is that a theme park? No, it's a free world with no electricity, no cars, no supermarkets, and especially no TV. He's not 
at Joe King KC. <sighs> Isn't it better to simply communicate rather than being brainwashed by the TV? Dude, no one said a word for half an hour. Nicole, punish Gumball for being boring. I really want to, but I can't. Gumball is exploring his outlook on society, and it's our job as parents to encourage that, no matter how much we might think it's completely ridiculous! <laughs> So, what do you noble savages do to entertain your tribe? We play rough and tumble. What's that? Come on, I'll show you. Now, the rules is that there's no rules. You wrestle and you make your friend tumble. Wait, so you can, like, punch and stuff? Well, you can try. But I have to warn you, I've never been defeated in Elmore County. Come on. Over at house? I was defending myself! Against what? You're like eight times the size! I panicked, okay? <laughs> Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> you know what we do when we need to cheer up? We sing songs! <clears throat> Aberdeen and the wheel in the field Potato! Come on, all together now! Aberdeen! Aberdeen. Dude, things never go this right for us. Something terrible's gonna happen, isn't it? Someone's gonna ruin my chance to get a good photo. I can feel it. But who would want to do that? You will pay for this humiliation, Gumball Watterson. Yes! Uh, paper goes in the recycling bin. Uh, recycle this! Well, I don't know who'd want to ruin my photo, but that's the problem. If I can't think of anybody, it could be everybody. I'm scared too, aren't you? Terrified, but my face can't express it. I think we're safe. Ah, watch out! There's some kind of hobgoblin freak right next to you! What? Where? I wouldn't worry about it, dude. Run! It's hideous! Ah, what are they talking about? Where is it? Trust me, man. You're fine. Wait a minute. He thinks you're the hobgoblin. Sure. I'm the hobgoblin. The one they use in horror films to show something terrible is coming your way. Like that! <laughs> Quick, it's Tina! What's going on with the light? I don't know! Just keep running! Where is she? more flexible than that if you want to join the team. Hmm, that was a bit anticlimactic. Yeah. What's going on with the lights, though? Night, day, night, day, night, day. Ah. Well, I'm starting to think there's nothing to ruin my photo after all. <laughs> I really don't know what we were worried about. It's just a photo. <gasps> Here we go. This is it. Look at him. Come and get us. Oh, smiles. Hiding his fury. Yeah, he definitely won't get even because I whooped his butt earlier. He's gonna do something. What? What? <laughs> How do you defend yourself from the unknown? With a preemptive strike. Hi! <gasps> I am so sorry. We completely overreacted there. I just thought you were gonna stop Shh. me from... It's okay. I understand. It was an accident. Not really. I kind of went for it. Could you please flip over that bit of rubber next to your foot? Uh, sure. Why? Because I'm turning the other cheek. Dude, you're so nice, it's actually sickening. Well, now we know that no one is after us, and we're 
20 minutes early for your photo. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now. Come on, Watterson! Where are you? Come and fight me like a man! <laughs> I know, right? For the first time in my life, I'm actually early. Okay, let's do this. Right. And you're sure you're happy with your weird face because this is the last photo I'm taking of you. <gasps> Ready when you are. Okay, then. On three. One, two... Uh, uh, problem, buddy? I really like this song, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> okay, I'll turn it off then. Uh, but I really like that song. <laughs> oh, no problem. Listen to the song then. Uh, but I want to sleep some more. <laughs> Let's just have breakfast. There's too much food in the fridge, and the milk is at the back. But the back is cold. Breakfast! <laughs> it's okay. Dad made us breakfast. Uh -huh. Use the sausage for the eyebrows instead of the mouth, so my breakfast face looks mildly alarmed instead of smiling. Okay, can we stop with the bad vibes, please? You're turning my milk sour. Uh, you don't understand my pain, so don't judge my life, okay? <laughs> Let's just watch some TV. Ah, uh, the remote is too far from the couch. No problem! I'll get it. Gumbo looks sad today. What shall we do? I know. We should go and buy this poor privileged kid an incredible surprise present. So we can have something new to gripe about. Okay! Really? Is everyone in this family immune to sarcasm? Ah, uh, I love this game, but I don't have the patience to get into the story. <laughs> Oh, I pressed my tongue too many. Now we have to go through that whole dialogue again. Then you happy now? You put me in a bad mood too. Oh, you're setting the couch on fire. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh. Come on, let's get out of here. Run out of things to moan about. Oh, dude, your new sneakers are too bright. They're burning my retina. Dude, you're making me foot conscious. Come on, help me dirty them up. Dirtier. A little more. A little more. Oh, too dirty. Oh, oh, thanks a lot. Now I'm naked. Oh, you're so moany. Just wear these. Oh, now I look like I bought my feet from a grocery store. Now I feel overdressed next to you. That was my favorite sweater. Oh! Are you okay? You look really uh, waterproof. Oh, life is horrible, man. What's wrong? What is not wrong? I'm starving, I'm wearing rags, I'm... Shh. Say no more. I can see the pain in your eyes. These children need help! Oh my gosh! <sighs> they might need this as well. And this. Please, take this. And these. And this. Oh! And this. I'm pretty sure you're gonna need that kidney. Maybe. Oh, I always knew you guys had problems, but I never realized how bad it was. Have you eaten today, son? No, I haven't, but it's because... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think there's a misunderstanding here. Pride is important, but sometimes you have to accept the health of others. <laughs> no, sir, you don't understand. Swallow your pride and eat! <gasps> okay, okay. He's so grateful he's got tears in his eyes. Here you go, kid. It's not much, but it'll help. People, please! Seriously, we're not poor! Of course you're not. You're richer than all of us. In here. That's not your heart, is it? Sorry, I'm a vegetable. I don't really know how you people work. Trust me, guys, we're fine. It's not like we're on the streets or anything. Although, technically, we kind of are, since Dad took the car and left. <gasps> I always knew he was a bad parent. His big, happy, fat, evil face, uh. his sinister dimples, and those beady, doe eyes. So what do you think will make him happiest? A go-kart or a real pony? Why not buy the whole store? It only comes to a billion dollars. Oh, okay. I lied. Was that sarcasm again? Yes, yeah, so do you get it now? Yeah. Are you lying? Yeah. That guy is such a gluteus maximus. Hey, Bobber, what you doing? I'm on the internet, the largest source of knowledge in the world. Why don't you get connected? Uh, hi, hello, is that the internet? Oh, you need to click the icon. Hey, you need to click the icon. Which one is the icon? Dude, it's the only thing on the screen. I knew that. Your memory could 
not cope. You crashed. I had to reboot you. Oh, come on. There's got to be something in his library making people smart. This is such a great book. I'd like to borrow this book, please. Book. 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 That's it. They're all watching books. Hey. Shh. Hey. Shh. Hey. Shh. I think my book is broken. I've been watching it for ages and I'm still not smart. You don't watch books, you read them. Shh. People are trying to work. Okay, brain. Let's get reading. <gasps> Once upon a time. That's it. I'm out of here. I've had enough. I'm off to watch TV. Hey, where do you think you're going? I didn't sign up for this. I quit. You can't quit. There's no way I'm going to pass a test without a brain. Please, I need you. We'll never pass. I'm stupid. Then, then I am going to make you smart, like Darwin. Uh, sir, you appear to have a bit of ink on your face. Are you sure there's nothing else you want, honey? Ask for anything. Well, uh, can I have two cans of soda? Quick, Richard, the fridge. Oh, and some jelly beans. But only the yellow ones. Okay. Uh, are you sure there's nothing else to wear, Mrs. Watterson? Please, honey. You can call us Mom and Dad. <laughs> Read it! I can't. Read it. It's so difficult. Nah, don't make me. Aren't you tired of being so useless? Years and years of insults and abuse. Remember. You people! <laughs> <Do it>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Then prove it. <laughs> this may take a while. I was a feeble minded guy. I'd slip on ice and wonder why. So many obstacles were thrown my way. On a downward slide each and every day But something popped inside my brain I got up to fight that fight again And I knew what to do I went through the mental pain You gotta think big, think deep Pretty soon you'll make that quantum leap Think big, think smart Make your brain your finest body part the greatest mind from yesterday Will it crush the dust? Cause I'm on my way You gotta think big! You know what? I don't think I'm gonna wear this anymore. Why? I thought it brought you good luck. Yeah, it does, but nothing's fun anymore. See? Watch this. Whoa! Ta-da! Whoopty boring do. What are you talking about? That was flip flopping fantastic! Yeah, a week ago maybe, but now it's just lame. I think I'm gonna throw it out. Don't throw it out! I could really use some luck right now. I've been trying to get on Win or Don't Win for five months, but they're not returning my calls. You're never gonna get on that show, Hat or No Hat. <gasps> There's a show called Hat or No Hat? Look, you want it, you have it. Hello? Would I? Uh, tomorrow? Oh, thank you, win or don't win! Wow! This hat is amazing! Okay, guys, as impressive as all this is, let's not get carried away. There's no way a tinfoil hat is responsible for... Richard, what are you... Hello? Interview. Tomorrow? For a promotion and a pay rise? What was that? That was the sound of doom for the Watersons. Do you ever miss your helmet? No, why? Well, everyone seems to be using it for really cool stuff, like Dad with the TV show or Mom with her job. All you ever did was lame party tricks. It doesn't matter, Darwin. I'm happy to see the back of it. Succeeding at everything really took the joy out of life. Besides, sometimes in life, you make your own luck! <laughs> It's so good to fail again.
You see, you take a pinch of success, a dash of failure, you mix it together, and that's what makes life interesting. See? That wasn't so bad. You just blew up the ant farm. No, no, no. Ah, ah, ah. It's okay. Ah, life is great, Darwin. Ah, ah, ow, ow. So you're saying you're happy when you fail? Absolutely. It's a struggle that makes a victory sweet. Besides, I still got it. Butter side down, just like poor Uncle Eddie. What do you know? My lunch is on the floor. Hey, who's the funny guy who did that? And you know what the best thing about failure is, Darwin? Well, is that it builds your sense of humor. <laughs> to get the promotion, which is more important than a game show. But if I win the show, I'll get a speedboat. Think about how great it would be for me. Richard, you'll never use it. Nicole, if I win a speedboat, I'm gonna use it. You have to understand, I'm doing this for the greater good. Winning the speedboat will be good for you, but not for the rest of the family. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry, Nicole. Uh, I don't know what came over me. It's okay. Just, where did you hide the helmet? It's in this bag. Oh. Mm. No, wait! Actually, it's in... It's in this one. I was gonna trick you. I'm sorry. I guess that helmet's got more power over me than I thought. Thanks for being honest, honey. 